Oh, and I'm coming live from marriage in Colombia. <laughs> I know this really sucks because I've been staying here for more than expected. And man, if you're just joining this, please give it a like before you do anything. Just that like button is very, very important. I'm coming live from Medellin, Colombia, the city of internal life or the internal spring. So as you see from the title of the video is things you should not do, 10 things you should not do or say while in Colombia. Let me go through these things. Then from there, you guys will be telling me where you're watching me from and everything. I see people already saying, hey, man, peace, bro. Yeah, I'm going to be reading those comments in a minute. But let me go straight to this, uh, the 10 things you should not do or say while in Colombia. Number one is to talk about Pablo Escobar. You know, I know when many people think about Colombia, I'm telling you this. Number one thing that comes into your mind, in their mind is Pablo Escobar. And still, many people still believe like Pablo Escobar is still alive. Don't ever talk about that topic here when you're in Colombia. Actually, if you really want to not to get along with Colombians, or if you really want to, to, you know, like piece off Colombians, talk about Pablo Escobar. It's a topic that you only can see and shh. That's a topic of Pablo. People don't, I see sometimes like where I'm staying very close, they sell t-shirts of Pablo, but it's not something you, you see people saying, hey, give me this t-shirt. It's always, yeah. Because he has a big history and he shaped, he shaped the history of this country and it affected this country in many, many ways. So people don't really like when you talk about Pablo Escobar here, okay? People don't really like when you talk about Pablo Escobar. Be very careful about that. When you come to Colombia, you can ask somebody and in a very respective way. Don't shout it in a group like, hey, was Pablo, was this? No. You ask somebody, hey, tell me about, you know, very. That's number one. Please give the video a like before you do anything. I just want my subscribers to be one of those subscribers that they just hit the like button before doing anything. Somebody's watching us from China. Yeah, I'll come back and read those comments. So we already said number one, don't talk about Pablo Escobar. Number two, don't say Colombia. It's not Colombia, it's Colombia. Colombia, no. Colombia is in America, United States. It's Colombia. Actually, if you want to piece a Colombian, just say, just say, okay, just say Colombia. They'll be like, what? Colombia? They feel so bad when you talk about Colombia. It's Colombia. Colombia. Please take take note. I'm telling you these things because other things I learned them the hard way, you know, through experience. Maybe you type, you type, you met this girl online and you'd be like, hey, what's up? How is Columbia? And she disappears. She never responds back to you. You'd be like, what happened? Yeah. It's because you pronounced or you wrote the name wrongly. Okay. That's another thing that you should, you should be careful when you're in Colombia. Don't say, don't do. Colombia. Number four is talking about drugs. We all know due to uh, many cartels, you know, you people have watched Narcos. And actually, if you're new here, I also was in Narcos. The season three, season three, the tenth episode is called Going Back to Cali. Go watch it carefully. You'll see some guy with some blue suit. That's me right there, okay? So don't talk about drugs. I mean, you can ask somebody where to get something here, let's say marijuana, but don't be like, hey, I'm coming to Colombia. It's cocaine everywhere. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Actually, it's one of the biggest, if you really want to peace Colombians, talk about that. Yeah. Okay. Talk about that. And uh, we're talking about, that's number three, drugs. I hope you guys are getting it. You know, you can ask respectively, but it's not something you want to be shouting everywhere on the streets like, oh, hey, how is this? Hey, 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 you know, don't. Number four is uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of, yeah. 
Yeah, a lot of questions coming in. I'll be answering them. I'm just trying to tell you 10 things you should not do while in Colombia, okay? Another thing you should not do, number four, is when you are in a taxi, you know, taxi, normal taxi, taxi, and you bang the door. Let's say you get out of the taxi and you bang it like, pop. man, actually the taxi driver <clears throat> can take the money and throw it back to you. It's, it's perceived super rude, super rude when you bang the door of a taxi, okay? Like, pop. You know, you, you let's say you just got out of the taxi, so you want to walk out, and you bang it. Bah! I see that a lot in America. Here in, in Colombia, it's really, really considered, really considered rude. Yeah, it's really considered rude. Okay, that's number four. Number five is when you go to a club and people tell you to dance and you say you can't dance. <laughs> yeah, I know it may seem like Mara, what are you trying to say? If I can't dance, I can't dance. In Colombia, it's considered really rude if, especially you're in a club, a club where people are dancing and maybe some girls walk. Here actually is very crazy. Here, you may go to a club, you sit down like this, and a girl just walks to you and tells you, hey, what's up? Let's dance. Yeah. So don't be like, no, hey, is this girl, who, you know, why is she asking me to dance with her? Yeah, it's like a culture. It's, a, it's like a culture to dance. Let's give the video a like, man. Yeah, just that like button. Come on, man. Come on, like button. So number five is when you're in a club. When you're in a club here, it's very, it's very normal when people come to you and tell you, "Hey, I want to dance with you." Don't see it as very strange. Don't see it as why is she or why is you know. If you're a female, for that case, don't don't be like why is he? Maybe he's hitting on me. No. No. Okay. So I've already told you five things, five things to be aware to do or not to do in Colombia. Okay. Maybe a quick recap is don't talk about Pablo Escobar. Number two, we said also, I don't remember the order, but I remember Pablo, don't talk about him. Uh, in clubs, when you're dancing, the last one I just said, people can come to you and tell you, hey, I want to dance with you. Take it normal. Don't talk about drugs here. Don't bang the taxi, you know, the door of the taxi. And maybe if somebody remembers, you should tell me something else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Those, those are things you should be very aware when you're coming to Colombia, when you're coming to Colombia. Okay. Very aware. Yeah. They are considered rude and they are considered dis disrespectful. Another thing is uh, some strange things I, I noticed about Colombia, like living here, strange things is, so the first thing is not to do, but the other things is things you can't do in your home, but you can do them here in Colombia, okay? Mm -hmm. One thing I realized is, this is very strange. When women walk, men can always say like, hey, and they do like, yeah. I'm not trying to tell you to come and do it here. But those are the strange things I've, I've discovered here in Colombia, you know. You hear a very beautiful girl. Here, too many beautiful girls pass, you know. It's very normal here. But it's very customary when men, they always say, <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't know if the girls love it because I've never seen any bad reaction from a girl so far. Yeah, that's so, that's so crazy. Maro, you hear about devil's breath, the zombie drug. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's another thing you should not do when in Colombia. When you're in Colombia and you go to this club, especially clubs which are a little sketchy, you meet these girls, you know, and you, you, you get so used to them, they dance with you, and all of a sudden, man, they drop something, you know? You get so comfortable up to the point you're like, hey, watch my drink, I'm going to the toilet. And you just met this girl, you know? So such, such type of girls, you have to be very careful. They can drop something like this. And man, you leave, you leave your notes. This is my note nine. You leave your note nine on the table and you'll wake up when it's gone. Or even taking them to your house, taking them to your house, a house which has your passport, your laptop and everything. And you know, you at night, then you sleep. You wake up, the door is quite open and you have nothing. The whole bag is gone. 
Actually, this happened to one of my closest friends in Bogota. If they are watching, they know themselves, you know? <laughs> yeah. They brought these girls to my house. I said, no. I said, man, I can't trust these girls. I said, actually, they brought them to my house, two girls. I said, no, man. I said, no, me, I don't want these girls here. And they took them to their houses. The following day, I saw notice on Facebook. Last night, you were dragged and robbed. That's how it goes. So you're taking girls to your home. You have to be very careful. But let's say you are a group of boys or girls. I don't know. Sometimes I tend to just like tell boys more of my channel. Please give the video a like, man. Let's get 50 likes. We are 77, man. And only 20 people have liked the video. 50 of you are just watching with zero contribution, man. Come on. Come on. So you have to be very careful when you take these girls to your home. Ensure. Actually, if you want to meet a girl, this is my... I always say this, eat, be okay, have everything, or have something like this. If you're drinking what? Something like this, you see? Nobody can drag you here. It's sealed, and they have to pull, and you know, they have to pull this too. Then, this is super sealed, you know? Yeah. Somebody's saying, don't waste your time going to Brazil. I'm going to Brazil, man. I just hope I get the visa. If I get the visa, I'll go to Brazil. So we are number seven, things you know, you're not supposed to do while in Colombia, okay? Things you're not supposed to do. And also things you can do, which in your hometown, they are very strange. Also, another thing here, it's very normal to ask a girl how old she is. Like you meet a girl, maybe you ask her, hey, quanto años tienes? It's very normal here. It's very, very normal here when men or not just men, but it's normal, it's customary when you ask a lady, like uh, how old she is. They don't find it offensive. You know, other cultures, they'd be like, what are you trying to, to mean? Or what, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say I'm old? You know? Yeah. So always, 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 it's not bad to ask a girl like, hey, I think you're beautiful, but I want to know how old you are. You know, you don't want to put yourself in trouble and be like, you know? Yeah. So you can ask a girl how old she is. Number eight, number eight is sometimes when you come to Medellin, Colombia, you may find a lot of um, your energy, your energy matters, people, if you're confident. Okay, I'm reading some comments. Uh, another thing you should know is you may come to Colombia and meet a lot of uh, transgender women or men. I don't know even how to describe them, just transgender, okay? So, Let's say you, you're on Tinder. Let's say you're on Tinder trying to, to do some swipes and you find this cute girl and she gave you her number or, yeah. Then after some time you discover she's transgender. Then maybe you block her or something like that. It's really considered so rude to do that. It's always good to always, you know, say thank you in a good way. Like, oh, I didn't know it's like this, but for me, I prefer something like this and thank you, you know. Or maybe you are walking in the streets and you see transgenders and you and you see like, is he a boy or is she a girl? You know, like that. Actually, actually, I should warn you, when you go to clubs, especially in Medellin, Colombia, you should be very careful who you are dancing with. You may dance thinking you're dancing with a girl and all of a sudden you discover she's transgender. So when you meet these people, don't look so strange. Look calm. You have to be very calm, very, you know, don't be like, ah. actually in Bogota, in Bogota, Colombia, one, uh, one time this happened to me. I went, I went to do shave. I went to cut my hair and there were like maybe six people shaving. So the next person who was supposed to shave was a transgender girl. And you know, I couldn't do anything. She shaved me. She was touching my head and shaving my hair. What could I do, you know? I couldn't do anything. So you see, such cases, maybe if you're not used to them, you may be like, oh man, I don't want to be shaved by this girl. No, you just chill. You just chill. Take things slow, you know? Everything goes slow, yeah. Brazil is very dangerous. Go to Amazon region of Brazil. Yeah, man, a lot of people have warned me about Brazil, man. But I just want to give it a shot. I want to give it a shot. Brian, Brian, 
Murunya, I think you are you're from Tanzania or Kenya or yeah, from Migori. Oh man, oh you always watch me, man. I know right now at home, you know that guy is from my village. I mean, where I'm from, that that region. Yeah, please, man, a hundred people watching, man. Please let's smash that like button, man. Don't be a guy who just watches. Hey Mara, can you use US dollars in Colombia? You can't use them, but you can have the dollars and change them into into pesos. But in Mexico, you can, there are places you pay using US dollars. It's very okay. Uh, here in Colombia, if you have the US dollars, you can change them. Yeah. And actually, right now, the exchange rate is really good. They give you a lot of money. It's now 3,200. It used to be 3,000, but now it's 3,200. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, Brazil, people are really warning me about Brazil. Yeah. American boy saying go to El Salvador, Brazil, please go there, bro. Yeah, I will, man. I think I'll spend I'll spend maybe two months in Brazil. Next month I'll be I'll be in Bogota, Colombia looking for visas. Let me hope I get the visas, okay? Please, man, like the like the video. I don't know why I have to remind my my fellow friends to man. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Do you go to Pakejeras every night, Marwa? I go there on weekends, not every night. Every night, no. Actually, it's not a good place to go there. Brazil government hates black people and trying to jail and kick them out. Be smart. Okay, so we are number eight. Let me do two more. Then from there, oh man, Brian says, yo, what's good, bro? Good show. The exchange rate is pretty good now. I'll be back first week of June. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, man, Brian, man, you know, we have, I don't know, maybe we shall, we shall, I think you need to book a flight on a weekend. We come here in Medellin for just a weekend, uh, Brian. I think that after the second week of, uh, of June, you know, we can, we can just come to Medellin for like from Friday evening to Sunday evening. Yeah. Then we go back to Bogota. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, and the flights flights actually are very cheap here. Locally, flights are very cheap. $30, $40, $50, you get a flight, yeah. Go to Belize. I was in Belize, bro, so, you know, I want to go to new countries. I want to go to new countries. I want to go to Brazil, Peru, Argentina. But, like, after that, I'll go back to Mexico and see if I can go to Guatemala and, you know, then... In, in August, I'll go to Southeast Asia. I'll go to Philippines, Singapore, Malaysia, you know. Yes. Please give the video a like, man, to support your boy. No need to carry hard copy passport around unless you're visiting the university. Police and other only require photocopy. Yeah, actually, like yesterday, I went to a club and they asked me for my identification card. I had to show them something digital, you know. I had to show them something digital. Just... Take a picture, have it on your smartphone. Don't walk with your passport everywhere. Actually, that's one thing I should say. Oh man, I wanna say thank you so much for Mission 31 for donating to girls. Are girls easy? It depends the type of girl you are looking for. Before that, before then, man, a big dog, please man, write a message. I wish you wrote a message and say something, man. Thank you for your support a lot and a lot. Big dog, I wish you give me a message. You see how people donate? They donate and they write a question or they write a statement. Thank you, man, big dog. And I think it's the first time I'm seeing you in this YouTube channel, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And um, somebody was asking me, are the girls easy? Uh, let me tell you one thing, man. I always feel like to, be, to have a female around you, it's about your vibe. If you vibe, if you are confident and... You know, sometimes it's good to be very honest to them. You tell them what you want and be straightforward. Don't be a guy who is wasting time. You're buying this girl too many drinks every time, every time, and you can't even tell her what you want or you don't want to open up to her. So, yeah, you have to be very, very open, you know. Hey, bro, sorry to bother you. I DM you on, on Instagram because I wanted to know if you travel to Colombia for two weeks and come back to the US. I am a US citizen and I want to go there in December for the first month. First month or first time. What dates 
will you be in Brazil? I'm thinking from 16th of next month. You know, 16th, I should be flying out of Colombia. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going, Brian. So if I get Peru, the Peruvian visa first, I'll go to Peru first. But if I get the Brazilian visa, my, my project was I go, I can either go to Brazil, okay? I can either go to Brazil or Peru, any. But flying from Bogota to Peru is very cheap, super, super cheap. Yeah. And also in Peru, I have friends there who, who, who really want to meet me, you know? Yeah. I have some nice friends there who really want to meet me. Oh, man, HD chilling. Always, man, you support me, bro. You say... Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Man, thank you, man. Thank you. And also, I want to give a big shout out to all those guys who, who sent sent me donations on, on my PayPal, man. Wow. There's a guy who sent me $100. I don't know if it's good always to say to say the amount you donated. Actually, even you see when I open the first email is a PayPal. A PayPal. Somebody, not somebody, but his name is, uh, his name is really difficult. Tichangwe. Tichangwe. His name is Tichangwe. He sent me ten dollars, man. I want to say thank you, thank you so much, Tichangwe. And also we have, uh, yeah. Let me let me open another one. We have another PayPal. Uh, he sent me a hundred dollars, man. Right here, right here, a hundred dollars, man. I don't know, I don't know what to say, bro. Thank you so much. His name is. Uh, I I know I wrote you a message. You told me you're from Kuwait, man, but you, not from Kuwait. You are from the US, but currently in Kuwait. Yeah, man. And also another guy sent me $25 right here. His name is um, Halvet. Halvet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Halvet, man. Thank you for all those guys who support me. And even those guys who follow me. And even if you don't donate, but you know, you watch, you watch those, uh, you watch those advertisements, you share my videos, you like my videos. That's a big way of supporting me, you know. But you know, when people donate, they support me directly, man. Like that's actually direct support. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to go to Brazil and see how it feels like. You know, I want to go to Brazil at least, at least for one month, at least. Yeah. I booked, I looked at tickets all the way until January 20, 2020. And they, they are all 850 minimum. Maybe I'm looking for the wrong place. Tell me, judge, which... From which country to which country? I can give you tips to travel. Yeah, especially to book flights. Even sometimes it's easy. You fly to very popular destinations. Then from very popular destinations, you fly to a place you want to fly. Oh, Oklahoma to Medellin. No, that's very expensive. What you can do, what you can always do is uh, fly from international airports, which people like to go to Colombia. For example, you can fly from San Francisco to maybe Cancun, Mexico. Then from there, you can stay there two days. Then from there, you come to Medellin. From Cancun to, to Bogota, Colombia, it's very cheap, very cheap. Then once you're in Bogota, Colombia, you can, you know, you can, sometimes when you're looking for specific flights, like you want from here to there, it becomes very expensive. But you can maneuver around. You can waste two days on your way. But at the same time, save a lot of money and also travel many countries. You can fly from San Francisco to maybe Cancun. Okay, then from Cancun, you fly directly to Bogota, three hours. Then from Bogota, you can stay there like for two, three days if you don't have time. But if you have time, you can stay there for one week. Then you take a flight from Bogota to here. It's like $30. Yeah, you can save a lot. Fly from uh, Florida to Medellin. Yeah, actually from Florida is very cheap. You know, from Miami, you know, Miami from, Miami is like that hype city. All Colombians here, all Colombians here wanna go to Miami. Actually, if, if you wanna like make a Colombian girl fell in love with you so quickly, just tell her, I live in Miami. They like Miami, like they are so crazy about Miami, I don't know. Also in Cuba, you know, even if you're flying to Cuba, if you fly from Miami to Cuba, it's so easy. Or Cancun. Those two destinations. People, you know, don't fly. Uh, low season tickets are around $250 to $300. Yeah, they should be somewhere there. They should be somewhere there. Yeah, somewhere there. I want to give a big shout out to all those guys who are donating to my channel, man. Yeah, man. Thanks. Thank you so much. H HD Chilling. We also have Brand Bitcoin, man. 
Bran has always, always been supporting me, Bran. I, 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 I don't know Bran, but I think one day I'll reciprocate in a big way, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just want you to, when you're free, we can travel together and just do some, you know, good travel. Yeah. How about, so it's about the money. I don't know. Okay. This is different. Okay. Peru is good. Is is good to ex experience the pre pre and post conquest culture. Definitely go to Cusco, but the hotter women are are definitely in Colombia. Yeah. To be very honest, um, Colombia. My hands are up for Colombia. I've surrendered. You know what I mean. Man, you you went to you went in Rwanda. In Rwanda, bro, I saw your videos, bro. That's my country. So where are you from, man? Yeah, that is Kayumba. I'm from Kenya, East Africa, but uh, I'm 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 a wild traveler. I travel a, a lot, especially in Latin America. That's where I started this YouTube channel from, and I started this YouTube channel from this city. I'm I'm making this video from that is Medellin, Colombia. Yeah, and somebody is asking me where are the girls at. I'd show the girls. Oh, big, big dog. I, I don't know if you're the guy who, who, who donated. Uh, let me see if you're the guy who donated. Oh, big dog. Yeah, sometimes I try to, to make the show about me, you know, as the owner of We Can Talk. Because sometimes when I bring the girls here, they really distract, distract you guys. You guys don't, don't like, you know, even they don't read comments, be like, hey, I need your Instagram. I need this. I need this. I need, you know. So sometimes I like to do shows like this because I connect with my friends. And as I told you, I always have too many messages, man, from Instagram. Look, let me open it for you. You see Instagram. See that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of inboxes. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is sometimes Sometimes I like when I do live streams like this. Actually, today I was answering questions, but I still have a lot of questions to answer. You see, a lot of people have sent me messages. A lot. Actually, today I spent like 30 minutes, not 30, like 30 to one hour trying to answer questions. You see, all oh, these are questions of people. So, man, sometimes I'm alone. So I just have to do these live streams like this because when I do them like this, you guys can ask me those questions. And I do. Somebody saying, I love you, bro. I love your work, brother. Thank you so much. That is Sack RC. Big Dog says, lol. Thank you, man, for your donations, too. The Flyboy Way says, Kenyan, Lombian. Yeah, yeah, they are calling that way, actually. Yeah, and you see, when you follow me on Instagram, sometimes there are things I can't do on YouTube, but I can only do them on Instagram. Like this, I sent, I, I posted this, this picture. Yeah, it's going really viral. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes it's good you follow me on Instagram, you know. Yeah, but sometimes I always see some people who didn't have Instagram and they open it and they only follow me and nobody else. Yeah, so I know, I know like, uh, yeah. Oh, did you wish Manuela happy birthday? Yeah, man. Actually, she wrote me. She wrote me, so I had to respond to her. But me and her, we are not in good terms right now. Yeah, we are not in good terms. Uh, okay, mall cheap in Medellin. Yeah, it's very cheap here, man. Actually, you see my last videos I've been creating, there's about place to stay. It's crazy because sometimes some guys don't, some guys don't uh, like it when I talk about like place to stay. People just want to see girls, 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 which is really bad, you know? Because you come to Medellin, Colombia, you need a place to stay, you need a place to eat, you need, a, you need to know how to move around. It's not just about the girl, man. You need to know something beyond just the girl, you know? Yeah. You need to know the culture, you need to know things you are supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Ayamaro, where did you learn Spanish? How long did it take you? You know, I lived in Colombia for two years and I learned Spanish through the streets. Like I used to go to the streets, not I used to go like you know when you are here Spanish is everywhere so you can't avoid it. You go to a shop you want to say this you have to say ayúdame agua por favor help me some agua you know para tomar tomar is drink and uh, 
I think maybe it's me spending more time in Latin America. I mean, Latin America in countries which people speak Spanish, like in Mexico, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Colombia. I've never, I've never been, I've never been to a class to study Spanish or to do anything, you know? Yeah. So it has always been more just my experiences in the streets with people. Yeah. Images from LA says Philly Don is on the move again. He left San Diego today. Go to Puerto Rico. I was in Puerto Rico, bro, living right. I was in Puerto Rico, such Puerto Rico nightlife, man. My video is, is really crazy, or maybe I could show you. I could show you here. Yeah, I've been to Puerto Rico, man, you know. I'm a little traveler. You know, some people think, especially when people are new, people always think, they see my recent videos. And uh, such Puerto Rico nightlife, Puerto Rico, Puerto. You know, it's Puerto. Puerto means door, Puerto Rico nightlife. Look, this is my video in Puerto Rico. This is my video here. This is my video in Puerto Rico. Let me put sound. Yeah, that guy is saying go to Puerto Rico. I was there, man, and I will go back. I miss this place. This is Puerto Rico, you know? Puerto Rico. Yeah. Hey, welcome to Puerto Rico, guys. Yeah, that's my Puerto Rico video. I really love this video a lot. Yeah, I love Puerto Rico. I love Puerto Rico. And this video also was really good. And I did crazy things. Let me show you some, some crazy parts about Puerto Rico. I love this. Puerto Rico, guys. Let me show you something here. Go watch this video. Look. Yeah, Puerto Rico was crazy, man. It was really crazy. And I went not long ago. I went, I went a few, a few. Yeah, yeah. I went, I didn't, I went not long ago, you see. That was Puerto Rico. It was so crazy, man. It was really, really, really crazy. Yeah. So the guy who was asking me if I should go to Puerto Rico, man, I was there. And it was really, really amazing, man. Really amazing. Welcome to Puerto Rico. Yeah, it was really hyped, man. Yeah, really, 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 really. Looks like a bus. Yeah, it was really crazy. Puerto Rico is really crazy, man. Yeah, I miss it, you know? I miss Puerto Rico. Actually, this is one of the places I left. Look. <laughs> yeah, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yeah. You know, Puerto Rico, they have this vibe of, of like, they want to party, they want to, like, they are so, yeah. Yeah, hey, Puerto Rico was crazy. It was really, which city in Puerto Rico? Yeah, San Juan, yeah. Yeah, San Juan, yeah. Mara, I want some of those. It's Colombia. I was just saying this, and this guy is, is saying Colombia. Uh-huh. Share them with me. You should come here, man. The best thing I should always say is come here. If you need something, if you want, if you want to marry a Mexican, go to Mexico. If you want to marry, <laughs> you wanna say hello? Okay. <laughs> I have my friend here. Uh, Maro, when are you traveling to 30 countries this year? I've already done nine. Actually, I feel bad because Colombia has held my hand. You know, I'm spending more time here in Colombia than any other place. But it's worth it because it's it's that country which built me. But uh, I'm I'm still on my road, man. I'm still on my road to third countries. Trust me. I've done nine this year. Nine countries, four continents. Yeah, Africa. I passed through Europe. Then I went to North America, Central America. I don't know if Central America is a continent. But now I'm in South America. So, yeah. If you want to marry a Venezuelan, go to Colombia. Very true. Very true. Maro, marry someone from Puerto Rico, uh, Puerto Rico, and you are a and you become an American citizen. Okay, it's it's good to have like an American visa, not visa passport or you know this big country's passport, but it's it's not like something like I wanna die for trying to do. No man, and uh, 
I've done much with my African passport, you know, just with my African passport, I've been able to do a lot of things. So I just want to marry somebody because I feel the vibe. I feel, you know, I feel somebody and not just because of the passport. Actually, if I really wanted like a passport, I, right now I'll be having maybe a baby somewhere, maybe in Latin America or Mexico, you know, I'll be having, if it's a passport thing, no. So for me, I always know like, it's not about even your passport. It's about just you, you know? Yeah. And you know, sometimes you may think becoming a US, a US citizen is a good thing, but if you sit like closely, yeah, it's very, very bad, actually. I know there are many Americans watching me. One thing I know is if you become a US citizen, you have to pay a lot of crazy tax. Every year you have to do those tax refile. And like, it's crazy to be a US citizen, man. I've lived in the US, I've seen how people live there. People are so silent. They don't talk to anybody. It's always driving, driving. Leave, leave, leave the cities, go to places away from the cities. People even don't know their neighbors. You know, if you walk in the street, people think, who is that guy? Like people are so used to driving, you know. I'm about to go to, I'm about to go to, I'm about to go to go on vacation. Yeah, you should you should come to Colombia, man. Just come to Colombia, chill here. And also, if you're coming to Colombia, try to learn basic Spanish, man. Yeah. I need you, Dad. Yeah. That's no way. Yeah. True, very true. U.S. are taxed based on citizenship. Yeah, it's man, I'm telling you, U.S., there are advantages of America, and there are many disadvantages, which me, I don't like. Okay? Yeah. Especially social life, you know, American social life is very chill, very, very like this. And me, I'm, I'm this guy who want to travel, I want to be here, I want to be eating tacos in Mexico, I want to come to Colombia and be eating bandeja paisa, you know, I want to go to Brazil and, you know, I want to, you know, I'm, I don't say if you're, you, you are an American, you can't do those things, but you don't have time to do it. But unless you do things like what I do, yeah. I'm a used to say, and that's right. Yeah, I, I know, man. It's it's hard, even and yeah, it's hard. Let me not go into that, man. Yeah. You know, you wanna live me. I'm telling you, it all depends what you are looking in your life. If you, you are chasing money and cars and big houses, go to America, you'll have it. But if you're chasing freedom, you're chasing chilling, you're chasing, you know, good life, you know. I'm not saying like like don't build a house, don't buy a car. But I'm trying to say, if you can do it in a place where you feel more happy and relaxed, and your money, your money is really appreciated, yeah. So I'm traveling alone also. Don't worry, man. Actually, traveling alone is good because you get to, to understand yourself. You get to have confidence about yourself. So traveling alone is something very good, you know? Yeah, it's very good. Chris. So far says Ukopoa Nimerudi Sasa watch video Zach on Ilikua awake yes. Thank you so much, Chris. Hey, what's up, bro? Oh, Jay, look at this guy. Dude, I, you're, you're like in a top search on YouTube now. Yeah, you know, you know this guy? Oh, it's a big surprise, man. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> We, we, we used to have like many problems together, you remember? No, no, maybe it was a different guy then. No. Oh, what, are you on YouTube? Yeah, I'm on Do YouTube. we have problems? Do we? No. Did you ever meet like me with you like in Colombia like three years ago? In, with Clinton. Yeah, and you were teaching English, right? Right. And actually, we had problems. We didn't have visas. Or... Oh, that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, I can't <laughs> believe that. Who are we yeah, talking to? We had many problems with this guy, and we were looking for jobs. We were nearly homeless. Who the hell are you talking to? Oh my god, this is live? Yeah, I'm doing a live stream. Oh, no shit. Hello, yeah. everyone. On your, uh, I, met you, I met you. Uh, I think two years ago now, or three, uh, three, in three years. Yeah, in yeah. Bogota. And Man, was... I see your YouTube videos. I, yeah. I mean, like top search with this guy. Like, yeah. all right, cool. So this guy understands me more. Understands, and it's, it's crazy because I, he didn't know I'm here. He's, he's always like, wearing shades. Always, yeah. yeah. yeah it's fucking dark as hell. <laughs> and, I, and he's still wearing shades. Yeah, yeah man. I good to see you, man. But, nice, bro. Let's you, catch up. You let, you, I'll let you handle your audience. You've never left Colombia. Why, man? Uh, please. <laughs> yeah. This guy has been here for three years, man. Okay, take care, man. I'll see you. 
Okay, that's so that's like so crazy, you know? Yeah. Because one. me and him Hello? at one point we lost jobs, we lost visas, we were like really like at at we were at our end of our lives. Yeah. And now we are here. No, I think it's because we have the same energies. Yeah. yeah, that's why we are meeting again, you know. Yeah. So this is live. So all these people are just watching right now. Yeah, people are watching and comments coming in. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm giving them advice of on Colombia. Getting girls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So go to Medellin. <laughs> yeah. Or... Yeah. Um, okay. Wow, it's a surprise, and it gives me a lot of memories in my days. Then you know when like life was really hard for me here in Colombia. Man. Yeah. So, yeah, until I've sweat, actually, <laughs> you know, look, I just, you know, buenas. So, we in, we in the Airbnb where I showed you guys, where I, I showed you about this place. Let me use my earphones. We are giving you positive energy. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Is it easy to get a visa to stay for years there in Colombia? Yeah, if it depends the type of visa you're looking for. If you want to come here and uh, study, for example, if your course is five years, they'll give you five years. If your course is one year, they'll give you one year. You can also come here as an expatriate, you know? Yeah. Oh, Brand says, thank you so much, Brand. Brand says, shout out to him. That's cool, yeah, to reconnect with people. Yeah, it's... Like he's a surprise. Yeah, he used to be one of my close friends, you know. Yeah, very close, and we, we struggled a lot together in our heydays, yeah, in Bogota, Colombia. So once leave US, everything differs. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I think even him is an American. He left three years ago. Up to now, he has never been back. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry, I'm using earphones. So I had if you invest 25K, uh, you can get permanent residence in Colombia. Yeah, actually it's easy to get here. It's easy, it's easy. What if you marry someone there, can you stay there forever? Definitely, yes, yes. They will give you all the rights. I have friends actually, I have friends from Kenya who, who, do, who did that and now they live here. They have kids, they have families. No audio, bro. Sorry, I used my earphones. Now I am I'm using different. Okay. So he went to DR. Oh, so yeah, I see, I see you guys. Is Colombia more free than the US? Because the US has many regulations and laws. Colombia is just a chill place where you just want to, you know. Here, let's say, for example, traffic lights is not as as that much as the US, you know, like the US sometimes you can't, even there's something they call jaywalking. So such things here in Colombia, it's more chill and relaxed, you know. Are Colombian people racist? Not really, man. Since I've lived here. Yeah. Was I talking about English? Oh, no. English. Oh, no. You know, I was no, 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 no. Yeah. 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 Okay. They didn't okay. understand. Oh, yeah. So you can come, hey, I, I need you, maybe you can give some advice, maybe. You've been here for three years, man. Come, come, let, let him tell you. First, I want you to answer this question. Why have you been here for three years, man? You know, just to get to uh, know a different country. I'm from LA, so. Yeah, you're from LA. Yeah, the thing yes. is, is that after 30 years in LA, I just wanted to see more of the world. And yeah. Columbia is, uh, it's a cool place. I like it. It's not as dangerous as people think. Exactly. Actually, you've lived in more cities than me. Actually, you've been to like Bucaramanga. Peru. Yeah, no, around Colombia, you've been to many cities, right? No, I'm only. You know, I was in Bogota. Bogota, I yeah. wouldn't. Uh, I mean, you know, I don't know. It depends on what you're looking for. Yeah, but exactly. Now that I'm here in Medellin, I think Medellin is really good for you. The place to be. And I also was in. Uh, Barranquilla, which is a cold oh, Barranquilla, city. yeah, yeah, yeah I you like, you in Barranquilla. Yeah, the weather is uh, kind of hot, but you yeah. know, you're next to the water, so uh, that'd be a cool place. Maybe so you got a guy named John Wayne. Yeah, no, man. All right. Yeah, crypto media. Uh -huh. So let me ask you, what could be the three things you could advise somebody coming to Colombia for the first time, or things that you wish maybe you understood before coming to Colombia? Uh, I would say. 
uh just be social yeah. Fuck, i don't even know i would yeah. say uh but also that's very important being social i think uh colombians they love foreigners so oh, in a way, yeah. yeah so i think you're already at a good advantage by coming yeah. here because because foreigners are foreigner. treated well here and yeah. then uh whatever currency you're bringing here so if you're bringing dollars or yeah. euros yeah. into colombia you can you know definitely have some buying power oh yeah and then other than that uh mm -hmm. It's come with a positive attitude and I think you would, uh, you know, basically... Uh, Answer John Wines. No, wait, how, how are the chicks? They're great. Uh, for myself, yeah. you know, uh, I'm now looking more for... All right. Like long term, but yeah. I think, uh, you know, like I said, they like uh, foreigners yeah. here. So, you know, if you're looking for just, <laughs> you know, something... Uh, Temporary, I think uh, you'll be accommodated, or you know, just depending on how much fun your is in your spirit, right? So positive, yeah. uh, happy, positive attitude is is what's like magnetic. Hey, you still work here? Uh, online, so oh, I basically now bring you in. Online. Yeah. How do you deal with your visas now? Uh, you know what? I'm on a. I have to leave in three months. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. you leave, then you come. Okay. Yeah. So. You know, no, uh, I might go to Taiwan. Yeah, Taiwan. because after, yeah, be with my people. Growing up okay. in LA, like a lot of white people. Yeah. It's hard to get like white Man, I can't believe I'm meeting him. We were with him three years ago. We were really struggling, man. You remember, you visited me in the house. That's I had lost the my lesson job. is don't give up. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, you know my <laughs> don't, story. Yeah, yeah this don't guy. give up. That's, let's keep going. I yeah. mean, everyone, every successful person says that don't give up. Yeah, everyone's... man. But I think you you like testify. And that time I used to do YouTube, but it was very little. Like yeah, I used to do videos. No, I do I do searches now. Yeah. You're like and one I'm like on the top, top page. Top, top, yeah, top. first yeah. page. It's you know have like thirty one million views now. That's it's crazy, damn. man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One thing I love about like meeting him is yeah. is how we struggle together, man. We really yeah. struggle together. I don't know why my phone is saying that. We really struggle together, me and him, man. Oh, Medellin Janis, this guy was from England. He just left here today. How are you saying, I'm in Miami. Oh, you already left, man. Oh, man, we were with him here in this house today and he's gone. Yeah, please, Medellin Janis, tell, tell people what you experienced here. Fax Boy says, Bogota, man. I see you, Fax Boy, always supporting me here. Thank you for Doctor of Red Pills for donating $2. Does feminism exist there, like in the US? I wish, so I, was, I wish my friend was here to answer you that. But what I'll say is, actually, Colombia is so different. It's so different. And uh, at the end of the day, it's what you're looking for. You know, I always say that because your preference could be so different from somebody else. Yeah, but you always know, like, the U.S. always thinks like, like that. They're always, like, really hyped, you know. They're super hyped. As I was telling you, like, it's... Here in Colombia, it's like a culture sometimes, like when a beautiful girl passes and you see men saying, you know that, that's like very normal here. But I know if you do that in America, people will be like, you're trying to, you know, people will see you, will view you in a very different way. So Crypto Media says, I'm in uh, Ontario. I hope I read it correctly. I was struggling with feminism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Medellin Janis, please make a YouTube uh make a youtube Pe people wanna see your videos bro he was here he left today actually yeah dominican republic moved citizenship from haiti haitians yeah those are okay we have c cjj says colombia versus brazil who has the best okay i see so I have to go to Brazil so that I can tell you. I think maybe next month I'm going to Brazil. Ohala, Ohala is God willing, you know. I, I get I get the visas and I travel there. Then I'll be reporting live from the streets of Rio, or uh, streets of. Uh, is a place called also Copacabana in Brazil. I wanna go there too. Hey, Fax boy, thank you for donating two dollars. And you say go to San Andres, Colombia, with a drone. Man, I don't have enough time, man. I wish I did, but honestly, I don't have time. Because you see, today's on 12. I have to go to Manizales. I go to Pereira. Then I go to Cali. Cali, I may stay for a week or two weeks. Then I go to Cartagena. I go to Barranquilla. Actually, I don't know if I'll do Barranquilla and Santa Marta, but these are the cities I've mentioned. For sure, I will go. And then from there, 
I have to do everything I've mentioned only in a span of this month because past this month I'll have to I'll have to be in Bogota to process visas. Somebody saying go to Venezuela. Yeah, I would go, but right now it's dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous right now to go to Venezuela, so I can't go to Venezuela. Food in Colombia is amazing, man. It's very amazing, man. Very amazing. Here, you have the best food. Let me see if I have a video I can show you. Here, or Brand Bitcoin can tell you, man. Brand Bitcoin can tell you. And actually, the food here, very nice dish, is like $3 to $4. So, and I was in Puerto Rico, man. The food is like $24 a, night, a plate, I mean, $24. Tax itself is like $7. Then propina is five dollars. Then the food is like eight, eight dollars. So man, it was like, yeah, Puerto Rico was good, but the food was really expensive. Yeah, the French chic was bad. Is around. Yeah. How about uh, Salvador, the Bahia, Brazil? Yeah, a lot of people have asked me to go to that place. I'll try my best when I go to Brazil, I go there, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll go to Brazil, but first they have to approve my visa. Yeah, but I, I just hope things will be okay, you know? Yeah. Can you find Carly, lol? I don't know what you mean by Carly. Yeah. Solomon says, I feel, I feel like the women were much more diverse in Sao Paulo than Rio. So sure to check out both cities when you go to Brazil. Rio was definitely more relaxed and chill though. You know, one thing I don't, I don't, I don't like to go to Brazil. One thing which has been so hard on me is Brazil, I have to, I have to have, I have to learn Portuguese, you know, I have to say bon, to the bomb, bon dia. And that's one of the main problems because I don't speak Portuguese. So I have to learn Portuguese before I go. You know, yeah, Carly, the Indian spice. Uh, that's not the guy said, not sure about Brazil kicking. Okay. Crypto media says, I'm, I'm very hard to find girlfriend in Canada. Yeah, you know, one thing I know is this. Oh, I'm reading your, your comments, Brian. One thing I know is this, somebody saying it's very hard to find a girl in Canada. The more developed countries are, the more hard relationships are, the more hard women are, the more things are so complicated in dating. But if, I think, let me see if somebody is knocking the door. So the more developed countries are, yes. You're gonna be on my live stream. You wanna be on my live stream? Yeah. One thing I know is, yeah, that's the door. I wish I could go out, but I'll lose the connection. One thing I know is the more developed countries are, the more crazy dating life is, the more difficult it is. But the less or poor or dangerous places, man, you fell in love like crazy. And one thing I've realized from my travels is, you see those places when people, where people tell you it's dangerous, or uh, don't go. Those places always have like beautiful girls. I don't know why. Even poor countries or those type of sketchy, sketchy places, they have like really beautiful queens. Hey, cool reggae man. Yeah, Medellin, Medellin journeys, man. Yeah, he was here with me today. I gave him a hug and told him goodbye, man. Yeah, that, that guy had the best time in Colombia. We were with him here in the same house. Yeah. Brand, let me read your comments, man. Thank you, Brand, man. Thank you, bro. Always, man. Appreciate. It. Says there's a place Maro took me in Bogota. The mother cooks in a, uh, in the back and her son are the waitress. Amazing food, have chicken soup and drink. Tell them Maro how much all that cost. Two dollars and a half. Actually, Brand, I went back to see that lady to see the mama, she was so happy to see me. She was really happy. She was really, really happy. And I had to tell her my story. Yeah. Can someone speak Germany? No, man. In Colombia, people speak uh, only Spanish. But if you speak English, some people can speak, but not that much, okay? 
Brian, yeah, man, I remember that place. Colombian women are very hot and sexy. It's true, man. And there are many, there are many everywhere, you know? There are many everywhere. Yeah, as I was telling you, the more, the more countries are developed, the more things are very hard. Dating life is very hard. People are lonely. People don't want to have kids. People are like chasing just money, 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 money. That's one thing I don't like about these developed countries. Look like Japan, nobody wants to marry. Even in the US now, it's about signing contracts, child support. It's about like, you know, it's money control. One thing I really don't like. Facts Boy says, always happy to buy you coffee, my friend Mar. Man, thank you so much, man. That, that will go a big, long way, man, to support me. Yeah, man, Facts Boy. And you know, People like Faxboy, they have been with me from 2,000 subscribers. So, man, I, I don't know. It's big respect, bro. I remember when my visa was denied in Colombia. You told me to stay illegal. You were like, man, I don't go anywhere. Stay, man. I'm going to look a lawyer for you to, to take care of you. Somebody's watching me from the UK, and he says, much love, bro. Emmanuel Odufue, Odufua. It sounds, it sounds West African. Man, thank you so much, bro, man. Please share my videos to your friends. Share my videos to your family. Let's say your brother, cousins. Man, I'll be back in a few months, around two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy, this guy, Medellin, Medellin Travels, uh, Janis, he told me one thing. Mar, I want you to stay in Colombia. When my girlfriend is pregnant, you can always report and tell me how my son is doing. <laughs> Come say hello. Just hello. Just hello. Come on. Yeah. 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 We have lost internet dating. Yeah. I was imagine I was in I was in California. I was not successful. Actually, it was easy for me to date foreigners in America. I mean, like, especially who are traveling for a short time. People are who are there, like Chinese girls. It was easy to date them than dating Americans who live there, man. Yeah. I want a paisa wife. This guy now is crazy. That's very genius. <laughs> this guy was here with me, and the girlfriend used to come and knock the door like, bah, bah, bah. I'm like, who is that? Now he's saying he wants to start a family here. <laughs> this place is addictive, man. I'm telling you, it's very addictive, especially if you make money. And uh, you don't have pressure of money, you know, like, oh, my money is reducing. If you can make money online or anyway, let's say you have, man, there are many ways you can make money nowadays. Look, you can come down here, rent a room, a big house, or let's say, this is a business idea I'm telling you, or let's say five, let's say $1,000, you'll have like a three bedroom house, okay? $1,000 and in the best place. Then you can convert this, three bedroom to up to a six bedroom house, you know? Like the owner of this place was telling me how he converted these places. You see there's a door right there. That door is another door, there's another door right here. This is another door. Right behind me, there's another door. I don't know if you can see. She's the lady you saw the video today, the video about the place to stay. She told me this place only had two rooms and she converted them to eight. And now every room, People pay, pay. I mean, there are many ways you can make money, man. All you need is to, to think. Think, man. Yeah. I'm telling you. All you need is to think. You can make money anywhere. Even you can rent a house in your hometown and convert it to an Airbnb. Then people will be paying you when you are traveling. You are in Miami or you are in Thailand and you see messages coming like confirm. You have guests. All you need to do is find somebody who can clean for you. Like here, there's always a cleaning lady. The owner of this place doesn't stay here, you know? We are alone. So all they have to do is to put CCTV camera like the one you see right there. That's a CCTV camera right there. And, you know, there are many ways you can make money, man. <laughs> this guy is crazy. But Jean Janice, he was here with me, the guy who was talking in the, the last live stream. He says, lol, I will have sons and daughters in Medellin all over the city. <laughs> This guy is from England, but now he's so crazy about Medellin. Yeah. Uh, Eddie Augustine says, got to give my weekend support. 
I will be in Medellin in August. If you go to Thailand, you should try and stay at least a month. I'll grow, it will grow your YouTube. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, Eddie. And Eddie, man, I have great respect to you, man. You saved me a lot of money. The first time I ever stayed in New York City, Eddie, Eddie connected me with, her, with his sister and the sister accommodated me for nearly a week for free, man. And even some other days, they would buy food and give me, man, like, Eddie, man. And I was taking Airbnb in New York City. One night is $100. $100 in New York City. And here is 10. Yeah, you can imagine. New York City is $100. But here, you get that in 10. So, Eddie, man, I respect you a lot, man, for a lot. And I hope one day I will meet you. Not I hope. I'm sure we shall meet. All we need is just life, you know. If we get life, we shall be good. Bro, quick question. How forward are the girls there? What do you mean by the word forward? Yeah. Always remember this, man. It depends what you are looking for. You hear the guy, the guy who was right here, he just told us, like, right now, he's trying to look for something stable, something long-term, you know, something long-term. So if you're looking for something long-term, you have to find right girls. But if you want to meet a girl for one or two days, you know, all you need, you can find. It's, it depends what you're looking for. In America, there's no life. We are robots. I mean, I don't want to laugh, but um, I know the life there. And actually, right now, my friend Richard, I was staying in his home, man. I see his life. He's not happy at all, man. So, yeah. Are they looking for English teachers in Colombia? Actually, that's how I came to Colombia. I came to Colombia through that. The easiest way to come to Colombia is to come to teach English. Which country do you feel like as black men the most? I'll say my favorite city was Mexico City. Yeah, Mexico City was really like, I was like a superstar, man. I would walk in the street and people come to me when I take photos and shit, man, Mexico City as a black guy. And um, Colombia is good, but uh, I have to say this, you know, there's, there's black population in Colombia. So when you're new here, they may think they may think uh, you're one you're one Colombian. So maybe even girls will tend to be like, oh, this is just another Colombian guy trying to hit on me. So until you speak, they be like, oh, you're not from here. So they get interested. So that's how it is here. So as a black person, people may take you like mm, 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 until you speak. When you speak, they be like, wow, you know, yeah. But in Mexico City, was, it was really a different experience. Actually, you know, my last relationship, I was, I, was, I, was, I was dating a Mexican girl who I met in Mexico City. So it was really good for me, actually, as a black guy. And not just me, I've had other friends DM me on Instagram. They say the same thing. Yeah. Go to Thailand. Yeah, I'll go one day, Emmanuel, but not now. Yeah, I'll go. But before the year ends, God willing, you know. Yeah. So, Antigravity74 says, what English programs do you recommend to teach? Try to teach with the government, because when you teach with the government, there are many benefits. There are many benefits with the government because many, many times you'll have free time. But if you work with private organizations, they will be putting you on, like, man, on schedule every day. That's why... I lived in Colombia for two years, but I was only able to travel in two cities because I didn't have time to travel. And, and when you deal with private organizations, is if you don't show up at work, they cancel your visa. Like they hold you like this they, because they know the visa you have that makes you stay here, it's due to their courtesy. A lot of Kenyans in Mexico, Lupita Nyong. Yeah, I lived in Mexico too. Even I, I know I know some girl, Kenyan also, who she's in Mexico. And a lot of runners, you know. Please, man, donate to the channel, man. Nobody's donating, man. The last donation came $87, 7 Canadian dollars. Yeah, man, donate, donate. And uh, let's get those likes, man. Can I get 100 likes before I speak anything? Oh, my friend Ososanya says, hey, Maro. Hey, bro. Sorry, man. It's been long. Tell me. Actually, Ososanya told me many information I didn't know about traveling with the U.S. visa. He's the guy who told me, Maro, you can go to Dominican Republic with no visa. Right now, I want to do even Costa Rica. I've never been to Costa Rica, but I want to do Costa Rica. Yeah. 
But you know, guys, I'm soon marrying, you know. I'm soon marrying. <laughs> so when I marry, it will be family time. No traveling. I'm just kidding. Why are Kenyans so good at running? There are a lot of research, but I think it's because of how we grow. We grow when things are so far away from us. Let's say schools are very far. And actually not all Kenyans can run. It's a group of community in Kenya. They are called Kalenjins, which they run and run so fast. They disappear, man, I'm telling you. And another thing is we can, we can resist, you know, we can resist pressure. I mean, we can hold on something too long. That's why they can do long distance running. Oh man, Yusuf, that is Caliph, Kalif or Caliph, Calife. I don't know if it's in English, Calife or, yeah. Says, hi, Mara, man. Thank you so much for donating two US dollars, man. I really, really appreciate, man. Thank you so much, bro. You says, hey, Maru. I'm doing good. Life in the matrix. Yeah, you should be out of the matrix. You should be saying life out of the matrix, not in the matrix. No. <laughs> says, hey, what's up, bro? Thank you so much. Ososanya, oh, Ososanya, I, okay, you're saying. Okay. When are you, when, Ososanya says at critics mass heading to Germany in June. Oh, you're going to Germany, man. You got a Schengen visa? Yeah, you should tell me how you got it. I want to go to Europe and visit my friends there and maybe travel to I'll make videos. But I want to go there during summertime. I don't want to go to Europe and it's very cold and everybody's shivering, you know. Yeah, Mara, I want to visit Tanzania. Which city and hotel do you advise? Go to, if you're visiting Tanzania, it depends what you're looking for. But if uh, most people go to Tanzania to see the wildlife, like animals, like lions, cheetahs. And uh, also many people fly to Tanzania to go to Zanzibar, the island. You can check Zanzibar. I made a video about Zanzibar. And Tanzania is so good, man. It's so beautiful. And also people are very nice. Actually, they are the kindest, kindest Africans, Tanzania. Kenyans, we are very rude. Yeah, so sorry for the Kenyans watching, but they know Tanzanians are more kind than us. Yeah. When are you coming to California? I'm in Inglewood. I think I was in that place one day. I passed that place. I was in California, man. I just flew from California in March. In March, I was in California, man. I was everywhere, actually. I was in San Francisco. I was in... Uh, I was in... Uh, the capital, Sacramento, you know. I was even processing my Colombian visa from there. Kenyans are not rude. I visited Nairobi. They were, they were very kind to me. No, I mean, I mean, if you compare Kenyans and Tanzania. So if you think they were very kind to you, Tanzania will be three or four times better. You can imagine how Tanzanians are, Tanzanians are very kind. Let's say, for example, a girl gives you a glass of water in Tanzania, especially in the villages. They kneel, they kneel, they kneel to give you water and that's the culture there. If they don't, it's considered very rude and that's the culture. Like she has to kneel until you drink water and you finish, that's when you give her and she'll stand up. Or when they say hello to you, they have to bow down their head like, hello, yeah. Or if you are talking to her, she has like to, not just for ladies, but even let's say it's your dad talking to you and you're a boy, you have to do that. Yeah. And I know there are Tanzanians watching, but I know right now it's around uh, around 3 a.m. there. So, Mara, what, whatever happened to your... Uh, yeah, no, man, I didn't have an African girlfriend. Or who, who do you mean? Yeah. Afri African girlfriend in Kenya. I didn't have an African girlfriend. I was in Kenya for a f like two months, but in Kenya itself, I was there like for maybe a month, the whole combined, you know, whole time combined because I was on off. I was traveling to other countries, coming back to Kenya. I want to give a big shout out to Solomon, man, for donating $5 US dollars. He says, uh, Solomon says, if you come back to States, bro, pay Atlanta a visit. It's not like being in marriage. It's not like being in Medellin or Havana, but we still have a good time here. 
Yeah, I know a place. I know Atlanta has like a black population. I I always know like we black people we like like parties. We we, we love that type of lifestyle. I'll definitely check it. And also, somebody was telling me in Atlanta there's there are a lot of strip clubs, something like that. <laughs> yeah, and even a lot of like musicians from Africa, like people like Davido, they live there in Atlanta. Yeah. Will you? You, okay. Thanks for doing what you do. Somebody says that's the truth and justice. I seek truth and justice. Thank you so much, bro, for supporting me. More videos coming, man. Always, always support your boy. Share my videos. Donate something to my YouTube channel. You know. That's all I. That's all I say. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I have my friend here, but she doesn't want to be in the camera. I wish she said hello to you guys. So it would have made me feel good. Um, yeah, she, she's so shy to the camera. No, okay, she's not into social media. We are quite the opposite, you know, of each other. Um, thank you. Cuando te vas, vamos par centro. Oh. Donde estás ya, Daniel? Donde estás, mi amigo? Where do you meet these girls? I talk, I talk to people in the streets, sometimes on social media, you know? Let's say, let me give you an easy way to meet people. Let's say you're coming to Medellin, Colombia, and you have Instagram, okay? So you don't know anybody, but you want to meet people or you want to see things happening on Instagram. So you go on your Instagram. I don't know how to show you this. But you just go on Instagram and you search by a hashtag like Medellin. Let's say, for example, right there. Let me show you. So you, you search by hashtag. You see hashtag? So you write Medellin. Medellin. So you see, you search like that and many things show up. So when things, let me close here. When things show up like that, you can meet people, you see, from Medellin. Just like that, I've, I've known she's here, she's around me. Uh, you can go another one, look here, for example, Medellin. You see, I don't know what she's doing. Uh -huh. So that's how you meet people. You meet people easily. Look, this is Medellin, posts from Medellin, Medellin. If you're a girl, you know. Uh -huh. This is Medellin. Uh -huh. So this is on Instagram. You see, for example, right now, I'm knowing, I'm getting to know them, and you know, I had no idea of them, but just on Instagram, I put a hashtag and search Medellin, and boom. So here you can give them a message and say, hey, I'm here in your city. I would love to meet you, you know? Yeah. Crypto Media says, how old are you? Man, I'm 28 years. Yeah, I think before 30, I should have a baby, you know? <laughs> because I was talking today with one of my friends. I was, I was telling her, the most people who influenced my life or who in, influenced the way I think, people like Tupac, had kids when they were very young. Not kids, but a kid, at least one. So I feel I need one. <laughs> uh, you have to pay, though. It depends what you're looking for. Manu is pregnant? No. Why? <laughs> wow, that's, yeah. In Germany, you are free and can work all. I don't know what you mean you meant by that. I don't want kids, no. Yeah, it depends, man. It depends. Yeah, it depends, you know. That's really a personal choice. Over venir as son these things que no hacer in Colombia. Yeah, uh, Tahiri, Tahiri, I already said them. The first 20 minutes of the video, I was saying those things. See. Tahiri, Tahiri, yeah. Mara, don't get pregnant so fast. Oh, I'll sell you my kid, bro. <laughs> That's so crazy, yeah. You want to sell me your kid, bro? Man? Yeah. Okay, that's Kato. Uh, I can have the child support too. Oh, man. <laughs> you want to give me his kid and child support? Oh, man, that's crazy. Uh, in Tanzania, I want 
I want to see by Coco ladies. Yeah, there are, there are very many there, man. Yeah, I love kids. That's crypto. I think I love kids too, man. I love kids too. I don't know. I, I feel like I need more reason to be alive, you know? More reason. Yeah. Okay. Man, let me get some donations, man. Come on, man. Let me get some donations. I don't know why people can't like this video, man. I'm seeing a lot of people watching, but they can't even like. I'll talk once, once the video gets 100 likes. Okay. Hundred likes. That's when I'll talk. <laughs> Daniel. Anyele, <laughs> uh, Anyele, you are right. You are very right. She doesn't like me around girls. Oh, somebody liked and disliked. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the likes. Uh, sorry, there's, there's a lot of noise. Manuela looks like a freak. True. So, man, she wrote me a very sad message. I don't want to share it here, man. A very sad message. And uh, let me try calling her. I see if she can pick so that she can say hello to you guys. I hope she's online because most of the time she doesn't, she's not online. I hope she'll be online. So I'm trying to call her. I'm sorry for the distraction. Thank you for the likes, guys. Share it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. When are you going to come to Alaska? 24 hours daily. I will, man. But honestly, I should tell you one thing. I don't like staying in the US for so long. Because I always feel like uh, it's very expensive for me. And I can live the same life somewhere far away. And, you know. Ahmed, what did you think about Paula Maro? Which Paula, man? Uh, Paula, the one, the girl from Peru. Yeah, tell me, Ahmed, man, Ahmed. And you've been a very good supporter for a long, long time, man. I really, I really like you. How you support me a lot. Thank you so much, Ahmed, man. Oh yeah, huh? I think she was, she was extravagant. Like she was. She's this type of girl who wants to be just flashy, flashy, flashy life, be in the best hotel, eat expensive food. She was making me run broke, man, you know? <laughs> yeah, that was her main problem. Me, I, I always want a simple girl, you know, not complicated. So for me, Paula, Paula felt like she was hungry for fame or she was hungry for, for good life, you know, like flashy life wearing Gucci's and, and me, I'm not that type of guy. So yeah, but I respect her taste, you know, I have nothing against her. Go to Canada, Montreal, white ladies are very friendly. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is Paula? Okay, go watch my live stream. A girl from Peru. Yeah, that's Paula. No, I didn't say that, DJ. I didn't say that. I say she's hungry for fame. fame. I believe you. I can remember you telling Paula, camera is here. <laughs> but she's a good girl. Generally, she's, a, she's very chill. One thing I liked about her, she's chill, but she, she's this girl who want to spend money, you know, spend money and wear Gucci lifestyle. I'm not... Me, I'm not that. Look my, look my Gucci, man. This is my Gucci. But with this, I get the best girls, you know, top, top notch. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, man, that's very bad. If you, you know, I tried to verify my account on Instagram. They said my audience is not enough. So, man, please, please go, go, go follow me on Instagram. 
Let me show you my Instagram. Same name as this YouTube channel, man. But I post good things there too. You see, like today, today's Mother's Day. I posted this. That's me. This is me. This guy here. This this guy. This guy is me. This this guy. That's me. You know. 1997. Yeah, support your boy, man. Support your boy. Support your boy. Here is my Instagram name. That's my Instagram name. Same name as my YouTube channel. Solomon, don't listen to those guys talk bad about Atlanta, Lord. Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. Follow it. What happened to Manuela? We had a little misunderstanding, honestly, guys. And I told her bye. Now she's so mad at me. And she wrote me a message which is very threatening. Very threatening. Okay. Come to Luanda, Angola. Yeah, man. Oh, you from Angola? I didn't know DJ Shady. I plan an African tour next year. A big one. From north to south. And Angola is one of those places I want to go. Angola. Uh, there's this other place. I really like this country, but I've never... Namibia. I didn't like Namibia. Oh, by the way, Maro are currently celebrating Ramadan. Are you aware of the Ramadan? Yeah, man, I know the holy month. Yeah. I'm not Muslim, but I have very many friends, man. Even eating injara, you know, injara. Yeah, that rice. Yeah. Even Eid al-Fitri. I know all those celebrations. In Kenya, we do have them. Yeah. Namibia is nice. Yeah, Namibia is so nice. She's going to hire Hitman on you, Lord. <laughs> I think she, she really likes me a lot, but there are things she needs to learn. Sorry, let me pick something here. I was picking this. She really likes me a lot, but there are things she needs to change, you know. You know, I'm introducing her to this lifestyle, man, of social media. So she has, there are things she has to change, you know. Yeah. So like me, I felt she was really pressuring me in other sections. Is she up? No, she's not, man. She doesn't look like one. Prostitutes can't, can't even appear in, on camera because they have a boy back home, you know? Those are normal girls, normal, normal girls. Sorry, what's happened with Manuel? Let me not talk about it. Maybe she's watching, you know? But it's not really nothing bad. It's like, I, me, I felt bad. Like, she's not, she's behaving in a way I, I didn't expect, you know? Yeah. Do you plan to visit West Africa? Yeah, man, next year. I'll be I'll be doing those countries, man. I want to go to Ghana. You know, I want to go. Yeah, I want to go to all countries. Thank you guys for the likes, man. If, if you're new here, please hit that like button, man. Yeah. She didn't answer your call. No. Most of the time, today is Mother's Day here. I know she can't ignore my call. She's not online. That's why. Yeah. Mara, you should start planning your party right now. Before you blink your eyes, you will hit 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. Actually, today we crossed 81,000. And as I told you from my live streams, is we shall be doing we shall be doing a big party when I get 100,000 subscribers. So the more you guys support me, the more you guys share my videos the quicker we shall be making a party. I'm thinking maybe we do it in Panama or Mexico or if possible, Colombia. Why am I saying if possible, Colombia? Because I always need visa to come to this country. So, Mara, go to Amsterdam. I've been to Amsterdam, but only at the airport, like for three times and for a few hours, like maybe five hours. Yeah. Saludos. O Otero. Oh, Otero sounds African, but I know Ecuador. She will get pregnant intentionally if 
you are not careful, bro. Some girls are like that, Lord. Yeah, I can tell Manuela because she, she really likes me, man. She wrote me a bad message. Like, she, I don't know if I should tell the internet this. So, yeah. Promote Africa to the world, not Europe or America. Love your motherland. Don't, don't, um, don't like eating in the restaurant, then eating up to your mom's or wife's. No, that is best of the best, Louis. Man, I was in Africa, man. Yeah, I was in Africa for, and I traveled five countries and my videos are really doing good, man. So there's nothing like I'm not promoting Africa, but I mean, it's time and season for everything. If I'm in Africa for, I've traveled in, this year, this year I traveled to five countries in Africa. So I, unless you don't know me or you, you are a new subscriber, but I was in Africa for five, in five countries. Yeah. Or you, maybe if you want some proof, I can show you. You see, Mombasa, Mombasa, Kenya. That, that's my video, man. Oh, this is Africa. You should go watch that video, actually. Yeah. This is Africa, Kenya. That's my best friend. His name is Mteti. And this, this was Midnight Stories, you know? Uh, just a minute, you'll see something there. Look. Yeah, that's Maru. Sister Love. Mm -hmm. And you see Africa? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me do this, yeah. Look, man, I was in Africa filming, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I took down Africa, man. So that guy was saying Africa, like... I think maybe you are new to my channel. Let me say that. Yeah. Yeah, Mombasa is hot and full of ladies. Very true, man. You can see for yourself. Bro, let me give a big shout out to, to Cole, man. He says, hey, Maro, keep it up from your brother here in Midwest, uh, Minneapolis. Stay safe and do your thing. And I, I want to also give you a very special shout out, man, because you've always, 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 man, you've been here to support me. And... This is how I'll be giving back to my subscribers. If you have a business of clothes, shoes, you know, you want to promote online, always tell me. I'll be, I'll be doing it for free for you. I'll be putting out my Instagram stories. I'll be promoting you anywhere, man. Let's say you have you are a musician, like the guy who sent me, who sent me his link, okay? The guy who sent me his link and he told me, he wanted me to promote his new song, okay? And I had to post it here. Uh, let me see. Mm. Oh, I can only, I can only show you that through through my big. Oh, we can see it. Yeah, community. Yeah, you see, like the first link. That link is somebody's job. You know, he told me to support him. So if you do things like that, always, man, tell me. I'll do it for free. Free, man, free. No money, nothing. Yeah. And also, you guys, you should go watch this video. It's going super viral. You see, it has 184,000 views in a week. Two weeks, yeah. Go watch this video. It's called Watch Now. It's very good, this video. Go watch it. It's viral, you know. So, if you have... If, that's how I'll be giving back to my subscribers who support me. You have anything you want to promote online, always reach up to me. Yeah. But you also have to support me. I'm not asking for money or anything. Just tell me, Maro, here's the link. I sell clothes. I do this, man. I do this business. But it must be genuine, man. I don't want to promote something which is not genuine, you know. You have to be very genuine, very straightforward. I don't want to bring people to your page and you start doing these tricks, no. That's not good, okay? There's a guy who wrote Swahili, like Nakupenda Sana. 
Thank you so much, bro. I saw your message, but I can't remember where it is right now. But Maro, come to Nigeria. Now, where are you, man? I thought you were in Angola or I don't know where you are. DJ Shady, please describe your location. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse likes to call me randomly at night during the day. Hello, bro, man. I'm good to see you. Yeah. Wow. I love talking to you guys a lot. I don't know. I just love talking to you. I value you a lot, I think. What's your height? I'm, I'm a young guy. I'm, I mean, I'm 5.8 or 9. One thing I don't know about myself is the number of shoes I wear. I don't know my clothes size, my waist number. I don't know those things. For me, those are troubles. Me, I look for anything which I feel okay with. Boom. So even my height, actually, I still don't know. Even the last time I was applying for my passport. I know it's around 5.8 or 9. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm an average guy. I don't have, like, extraordinary things, you know. Like, maybe just say physically, you know. But uh, when I talk to a girl, she... Best of the best, Louis says, next time you come back to Uganda, I'll give you two free cows and you take them to care your plus free accommodation with Wi-Fi, free car for your work, son of major. Oh, Luis, have your work. Oh, man, thank you so much. Oh, you're from Uganda, man. Yeah, I was in Uganda, man. Yeah, I was in... Oh, I, I think you've seen my video. That's why you say next time you come to... Yeah, man. I really want Africans to travel to men. I'm sorry if you're not African. I know I have friends watching me from all over the world. I want Africans to travel to men. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be alone traveling here. I want you to be on the road also. I want you to book tickets to Mexico, Panama, you know? Those people are making a lot of noise. Let me see if I can, I can do it from here. Those people are making a lot of noise right there. So, let me sit on this chair. Is it a good chair? You see this chair? So I want to carry it. I'm so strong, you see. Then we can do this live stream from here. I don't know if it's very dark. No, it's still okay. So yeah, I want I want to see a lot of people travel, especially Africans from Africa, man. Don't be afraid, Mara. Are you coming to Trinidad and Tobago? This time, as promised, I will come. You know, one thing you should know is those countries, I can go with no visas. So it's much easy. I can promise on them. I can say I'm coming and I will come. But countries which I need visa, it's always which they give me problems, you know. Maro, come to India. Yeah, man. Also, India. India is one of the best countries I want to go because India has the biggest YouTube population. You understand, like many viewers worldwide, the most population comes from India. I'll come, bro. Thank you, man, for the invitation, man. Yeah, I think when I come, I'll contact you, you know. I don't know. I have too many countries to go, man. I'll go to all countries. People want me to go to Jamaica. Yeah, I know, man. I'll go, I'll go, man. People want me to go to Africa. I'll go, I'll, I promise. Mara, taking photo shoots now, lol, yeah. Actually, I should tell you, man, there are many ways you can make money. Learn some skill online. online. I believe online. Me, I be, because that's how I live, you know. So I'm telling you something that I do. Something that has, has been keeping me traveling for the last one year. And I've done, like, big things, you know. You guys saw I was building a house for my mom. And right now it's nearly complete. Everything is online, man. And you know, online you deal with big companies, McDonald's, Coca-Cola. So you're not talking with one guy who is trying to be like, that's too much money you're asking me. No, you're dealing with billion dollar companies. Okay. Nick, Nicholas Martin says, hey, I'm coming. I'm coming to Medellin in September. Will you still be there? No, man, I'm leaving next month on 16th, Colombia. I'm leaving Col because my visa expires that time. So I have to leave. Maro, come to Philippines. Yeah, Philippines, I'm going. From August, I'm doing Southeast Asia, from August. 
Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, Thailand, uh, which other is Vietnam. If Vietnam, I need visa, so I'll try my best. Guyana has Indian and they're very they speak English. Man, can I get somebody donate? Somebody, man. Can I get somebody donate? Anything, man. Please donate something. A another says, what visa do you have? Touristic? Yeah, I have touristic visa. Touristic visa. Uh, somebody says your subs will skyrocket if you go to India. Many YouTubers do this. Yeah, it's true. That's very true. Actually, I learned that too. Yeah. If I go to India and make videos there, it will blow. I have seen I have seen a lot of a lot of people do that. That's very true. Very, very true. Because your visa expires, you will never come back to Colombia. No, I'll reapply for another visa. Yeah. I'll re reapply, but it takes time, you know. But if you really want to come, you'll come. It's not so. You know, long time ago, Colombian rejected my visa. You know, saying, no, we don't want to give you a visa. But now they accept it again. You know? You are, you are con your content is better than others. Thank you, man. I really appreciate, man. I work hard, actually. If you make videos in India, you will be 500K subs low. It's true, man. It's true. And that's one thing. That's why I want to go to India, actually. You know, I want to grow and also want to explore India, you know? Yeah. Yeah, India India has a huge population. Actually, yesterday I was watching the CEO of YouTube was saying by, by I think, in two months or three months, it will, it will be receiving like 400 million. I don't know if it's 400 million. Something like 40, something for something. I don't know, it's 40% of new viewers from India. How is life? That is Angie Cake. I don't know why, why, why your message was restricted. Life is good, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know why your message was restricted, man. I don't know. And you're saying something good. Angel Cake, yeah. India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, there's internet users and they are going through the roof. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have you met AC Live, this is Ace, he's in Mexico right now and I'm in Colombia, so we've crossed each other, you know, crossed each other by that. Uh, let me see another comment says, because the internet is becoming cheaper and cheaper. Okay, please be good, man, with other countries. Yeah, if you find an online job, that's the easiest way to travel the world. Because you can have a computer like this and design something and send it to a company and the company will. Yeah. I don't know why the messages are being restricted, but try to use good language, okay? Come to North Korea, bro. Tony, are you in North Korea or are you just playing with my mind? Yeah. People are talking. I'm, try I'm trying to look for a space where it's more chill. Yeah, this is my Airbnb I'm staying. It's very nice, man. You guys should come stay here. Yeah, you know. Please, let's get those like buttons, man, going to this to the roof. I'm walking around here trying to show you this place, how it is, you see. Colombia, you know, people tell you you'll be kidnapped. I've never been kidnapped here, you see. It's a beautiful place. They have a TV here. I already showed this. My room is right here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, man, I love talking to you guys, but uh, I think I'll I'll be ending this live stream, let's say, in the next 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. If you guys donate, I'll stay here. If you guys donate, I'll stay, man. Keep doing you. Thank you so much, Cult Fleet. And I have to say thank you. Many times, you guy, you really support me a lot. You support me a lot. Yeah, Constance. Yeah, you really support me a lot, guys, and I really appreciate, man. If I get some donations, man, I'll stay. I saw some guy commenting really bad, like, hey, you you beg for donations. And you see, the guy who's saying that has never donated to my channel. So he's just a selfish guy, you know? But one thing I've learned in life is if you're not selfish to others, then 
things will be good to you. Yes. American boy says, what happened with Manuela? I never understood. Let me do this, man. I think I'll do another video with Manuela, okay? I will donate more if you bring Manuela and Dana. Oh, man. Tomorrow I'm leaving Medellin, you know? Tomorrow I'm going to another city. I'll be showing you a different city tomorrow. So I hope you guys will enjoy my new videos, man. Are you really kind? I'm very kind, man. I help a lot of people. Only God knows, man. Only God knows. And I believe I will not be having this type I'm living if I was not kind to people. I believe it's the kindness that I share to people. It comes back in a good way. Marwa is, Marwa is someone who stays in Airbnb allowed to bring a visitor lady. You have, yeah, when you're booking this Airbnb, the one I'm staying, you can, this one. And that's why I did a video today telling you, book this place because, like, right now, the owner is not here, so I can bring any gown, you see? But other places, you can't bring a visitor to your place. You have to pay. You have to pay, or they give you a lot of restrictions, and maybe there are families, you know? I'm trying to close notifications here. Let me close these notifications. Sorry. Just give me one minute. I close these notifications. Oh, DJ Shady, man. Thank you for donating $2, man. Let me close these notifications. That's how I receive notifications, imagine. Let me close them. Just allow me to close them. Oh, man. There are too many. Let me close them. Let me close them. Let me close them. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Stop. Yeah, they stopped. Thank you. DJ, man, Shady, thank you, man. You're keeping me. So I'll do more. more. Actually, if I receive more donations, I'll stay here to answer your questions. I like Actually, I like spending time with you guys because if you like the content, then donate. Yeah, please donate, man. I, I really like you guys, you know. If I really didn't care about you, I would not be here trying to answer questions. And many people who write to me on Instagram can bear me witness, I respond to them. Especially Instagram, I respond to them. Many, many, even they don't. Sometimes I, I respond back to somebody and they'll be like, oh, Maro, you responded to me. Man, I didn't expect this. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm human, man. One day I will die. I'm just a normal guy, you know. So I'm not special. There's nothing special, man, about me. Look. You know? So when I respond to people, they, they get, like, surprised. Like, oh, this... I don't want to be like other celebrities. Actually, I don't consider myself a celebrity, you know. I'll explain why. But let me give big shout outs to, to DJ Shady for donating $2. Says, keep it up. And also, uh, Carla, Car, Carl Basil for donating $2 also. Thank you so much, bro. We have Chris donating two Canadian dollars too. Thank you so much. Uh, Aviste, Aviste says, are you be belonging bags, passport, money, safe in Airbnb? Are your belongings, yeah, they are safe. All you have to do is don't try to be flashy. Don't wear rings, expensive rings, beach. You know, you're inviting problem. You see, if I dress like this, people think I don't have money. Or people think, ah, this is just another guy walking around here, you know? You know? You know what I mean? But if you wear flashy suits, you know you bought your best clothes, eh, that's a problem. Yeah. Eddie, man, Eddie, wait, wait, you have a girlfriend. Oh, man. Yeah. Man, I, I should tell you one thing about my life is I have too many beautiful girls around me, and all of them want to be my girlfriend. I'm telling you, man, I swear before God, it's not a lie. Too many cute girls, really cute, man. And every girl, they text me, they say, man, I want to be your girl. Hey, please, I want to meet you today. And it's not because it's not because of YouTube, man. It's not because of YouTube. It's just because I think I have good vibe, you know. Me, I smile. I smile a lot. I joke. I laugh. I play. But if I don't like something, I tell them straight on their face, like, I don't like this. Yeah. Tony, man, you always never disappoint, man. 
Tony, I want to meet you, man. And actually, I'm making you today a moderator of this group, of this, this YouTube channel. Now you are a moderator, Tony, man. You've supported me a lot. Even, I don't know what to say, Tony, man. Thank you, bro, man. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, if I open my glasses, it's like I want to cry, man. Thank you. Thank you, man, Tony. Yeah. There are people, man, in this YouTube channel. I don't know. It's just God's blessing, man. Yeah. John Wine says, Maro, you should make his studio of beautiful ladies. Yeah, there is this guy I saw on Instagram. I don't know, man. You know, I want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. <laughs> you know, I want to go to God. I don't want to be this guy who on this art was the guy like the balls with girls and everything. Then I want to go to God, man. I just want to inspire you to travel. I just want to inspire you to get, to not settle for less, you know, like there's a big world out here. There are beautiful women you can meet out here, man. I'm telling you, man. That's like my inspiration, you know, my inspiration, man. That's my inspiration. My inspiration is to let you know, man, there's more life beyond your village, beyond your work, beyond your heart, you know. That's my, I want to go to God, you know. You know, I mean, I want to do the right thing. That's what I mean. You get girls like that? Yes, man, two men, I swear before God. Two, and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me open my Instagram, okay? Let me show you. I'm opening my Instagram and I'll show you this. And I have to be very, very, very specific about this. It's not because I do YouTube. It's not because of that. Actually, it's it's very little related with that. Look, this is a girl writing me there. She needs me to respond. Another one is right here. Oh, another one just showed up. Another new message. Uh, apart from my friend, this is my friend. This is a girl right here. This is a girl. Or I can bring clothes, you see. You see. Another one is right here. Another one is right here saying, Ola, I've not responded. It's a, it's, it's a proof, man, you know? Yeah. I need to respond to them. I should tell you this. I try to meet girls outside YouTube. But once I see they are nice to me, I introduce them to what I do. That's what I do. Bro, you have a lot of shirts. It's crazy, man. And, and if I open my... My WhatsApp is the same thing. But the whole idea is, the whole idea is, I'm not trying to tell you have many girls in your life. No, I'm trying to tell you there's more good things you can see when you travel. Yeah. All you have to do is find some job you're going to do online. Not even online. You can rent a house. Maybe your dad has houses. Rent them out. Those houses will be paying you as you travel. Come on, man. Don't kill yourself, you know. Don't kill yourself, you know. By saying, oh, man, my life is so hard. I work so... Come on. You're paying rent. Why are you paying rent in America? Three times. Bring that money here. You know. Yeah. How did you do with the ladies in Kenya? Very good, man. Very good, you know. Very good. Yeah. Very good. I like uh, somebody saying I like the Colombian women with dark skin, darker skin. Yeah, they're here. Last time I showed you, I was, I was, I was, I was. You know, let me show you here. Oh, look, Brazil. I wanna go. I follow this girl. She's from Brazil. Let me give her a shout out, special. But that's not the most important thing. Look, this is Afro-Colombian. I showed you this in my last live stream. Let me put some sound. That's my song, actually. She's cute. <laughs> yeah, man, living that life with passport light. You know, my passport is very bad, but I live the good life, you know. But I should tell you this. Before I was living this life, I used to think about it. I used to meditate about it. 
I used to say like, why? Man, I want to do this. I want to be like this. Actually, that's very true. It's not something that just came like that. Okay, maybe it has grown beyond I thought. But before that, I used to think about what I wanted in my, my life. You know, every time I used to, and you have to be very disciplined. I should tell you this, man. Somebody say, greeted me in English, Tom, Tom Milan, Jambo, Mambo, Salama Sana, Bana, Sante, Sante Tom, Tom, man. Maro, have you sent a message to Manuela? But she ignored me. I have sent, right now she's under stress, you know, because of me, we have problems. Because I told her, ciao, you know, I told her bye. So can you get a Brazilian visa? That's what I wanna, I wanna try applying next month, yeah. Cristiano says great energy. That's one thing I love about Colombia. Most Latin American countries, they are like that. They have great, great energy. Mambo from Diani, Mombasa. I was in Diani, Tom, man. I was in Diani. I was in Diani, man. Oh, man, I was there. Yeah, I was in Diani. I walked, I walked in the beach. Oh, let me show you on my Instagram. Maybe you can believe what I, I show you. I was in Diani, man. I, I don't know if you checked that. I was in Diani. Look, look why you should follow me on Instagram. That's Maro, you see? That's why you should follow me on Instagram. You see some good, good pictures. You see, like, like her, for example, she's never on my YouTube. But that's from Israel. You know? Yeah, yeah. See the beautiful eyes. Okay. I was in Diani. I was in Diani. Somebody wanted, I wanted to show you Diani. This is me in Diani. Yeah, that's me. Diani Kenya. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, here is in Ethiopia. Those guys who didn't see my videos of Ethiopia, that's Ethiopia. Go check my Ethiopian videos, okay? That's Ethiopia right there. Yeah, go check my videos, man. Yusuf, he said, who is she? Follow me on Instagram. I tagged her name there. You know, Americans would need visa from June. Yeah, after June. Yeah, very true to go to Brazil. Man, if you have an American passport, the world is yours, man. I'm telling you. Okay. Ethiopia. You know, I showed you Ethiopia, okay? Ethiopia. Very good. Ethiopia, Kenya, you know, Kenya was crazy, my home country. <laughs> so after June, US citizens need needs a visa to go to, after June, US citizen needs a visa to go to Brazil. They don't need, they don't need. Right now they need, but after June, they don't need the visa. Yeah, you know. So oh, guys, please, we are doing eight more minutes for two hours. I like talking to you, man. Somebody from Ethiopia, I missed you by a minute when you were having breakfast in cookies with Ethiopian girls. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, Tom, yeah, yeah, I was there. You know, I had to delete that video from the internet because me and that girl, we broke up. So she got mad and she told me, oh, delete my video. So I was like, okay, girl, no problem. <laughs> and some people were like a little mean, especially Ethiopian men. They were commenting very bad, negative things. So I had to take the video down. Yeah. Thank you, man. Diane is really good, actually. Yeah, Diane is really... I went to Brazil. That is Solomon. I went to Brazil for Thanksgiving last year and I needed a visa. So it's good that they have changed that. Yeah, right now, Anyone in Medellin now? Yeah, I am here. Oh, let's see if there's anybody else in Medellin. Mara, did you get my donation? Oh, man, let me check. Ahmed, bro. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's right there. Two dollars, bro. Thank you so much, Ahmed, man. Sorry, I didn't see it, man. I didn't ignore you. I didn't see it, bro. You've been here supporting me for a long, long time. Yeah, Ahmed, man. Thank you, thank you so much, bro, you know? Yeah, Tom, we shall meet, man. I'll come back to Kenya, you know? I'll come back to Kenya and we shall meet again, bro. Yeah. Uh, 
lacuna says talk about your dis your discipline oh yeah yeah you have to be very disciplined man i have to tell you this when you want to achieve something big in your life you have to have a procedure of doing it and in this procedure you'll always find your friends or family or anybody or girlfriend trying to interrupt you all the time and even they may doubt you you have to be disciplined to say i want this i want this you see this life i'm doing right now i swear before god i used to think about it i wanted to be this guy and it happened i used to work here eight hours a day it was so hard on and those guys who joined this uh live stream ali you saw the guy i introduced you to you know we used to work with him we lost jobs at some point we were homeless we didn't have we didn't have it mean i've been homeless one day here in colombia here in colombia i lost my job one day you know when you lose your job they cancel your visa when they cancel your visa you don't have a job you don't have a visa you don't have anything but you have to be disciplined you have to be disciplined you see like me every sunday i know i can't invite any girl to come and see me because i have to do a live stream with my fans you know so you have to have to be very disciplined and also when you grow let's say this fame comes into your mind money comes into you don't feel so special you know don't feel like i'm the boss always be yourself you know be humble appreciate small things in life appreciate like it's mom's day call your mom talk to them you know yeah maro is the best travel travel organizer yeah i think i have good experience man i think i have I have really good travel experience yeah and actually my travels are hard travels you know i am an african so i travel with an african passport and that becomes really difficult when you're traveling with an african passport if i was maybe let's say black american it's very easy because the passport is just you crossing the borders but for me i have to counter check i have to call i have to do this you know jamaican women bad yeah maro i did cuba also oh melo tell me about cuba man did you like it amen says maro how about i got kicked out of a street club a couple of weeks ago for no reason the bouncer just hated me where were you man yeah yeah you know these bouncers they really hate when they see like you are a potential man they don't like you they be like no where is your id where is this when they see you like you got some good swag and beautiful girls around you they hate it but you know you should not argue with the bouncer you know just leave him just leave him you know co codigo codigo delta que pasó que pasó codigo delta cristiano says oh he's answering somebody jamal says i like to come and hang out with you in colombia how can we make it happen so number one is we have to plan we, i have to tell you where i am and we plan and right now i'm leaving so we have to plan just add me on instagram and please don't pressure me to answer you so quickly because i i answer everybody who who writes me but it's step by step you know somebody was here talking about brazilian uh, jesse says I like Brazilian girls but I don't speak Portuguese so I use a phone application translator. Marwa, what translator would you recommend to speak to foreign girl? Yeah. Google Translator. Let me show you Google Translator. It's the best actually. I have it. You know, if I have something here with me, it, it means it's working look. Google Translate right here. Google Translator. So you click at it like this let's say i'm saying how are you in english okay look you can use this button here to record the voice so i want to say how are you okay how are you so you see i've said how are you then you can click down here look here 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 listen como estas uh -huh. So you can translate directly either through voice or mess or text. If you want text, text is right here. Como estas? Text. So it's the best. And actually, for a traveler, you have to have that. 
I have that app, all languages are there. I just need to download any language you like. Yeah, hey, Jamal says I'm a big fan, so I'll be in, it, it will be a, an honor to hang out with you, yes, man. But there's a guy who was asking me about learning about YouTube, that one I charge money. If you wanna learn about how to make money on YouTube, how to be successful, how to do everything, I charge money. I, I, I started like uh, one week ago. I'm offering classes for people who wanna learn how to make YouTube videos, what kind of YouTube videos to do. Thanks for your advice, Tony. That's, that's Tony, thank you so much, bro. Yeah, My job is to give you advice. bro, thank you so much, Tom, Milan. Yeah, sante sana, man, nashkuru. Nashkuru, man. Nashkuru. Nashkuru is, I appreciate, okay? Those who don't speak Spanish. Speak about, Susano, who is Susano? Yeah. DJ says, uh, you, you take your Instagram photos with your, your own cameras. I, I use my cell phone, I use my cell phone. To be very honest, this cell phone is very expensive, but I bought it not because I have money, but I wanted to use it to film, okay? So when I, I take photos with this cell phone, I put the mod to live focus. Let me do it for you. So it's a Note 9. So maybe your cell phone may not have this feature. So you click here, you see here? It says live focus. So look when I click. You see, it's I'm so big now and look how I look like in those photos. And the background, you see the background is shady, like the background is not clear. So that's how I take my photos on Instagram. I use my cell phone. Actually, my cell phone does a better job. You see, see the difference, the camera of my cell phone and the camera on the laptop, okay? See the difference, you see here, this is more, this is bad, but this is more like a movie, you know, filters, yeah, you see? Oh, let me use half of my face. So like that. So that's how I take my Instagram photos. For those who are wondering, hey man, do you have a photographer? Yeah, so that's how I take my Instagram photos. I use a live focus feature, okay? Aha, that's too bad, bro. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, live focus. How can one sign up for YouTube lessons? Yes, so let me do this, man. Just hit me on my Insta uh, on my on my Gmail account. We can be doing some live stream, but I would love if we can have like one to one talk because I need to have my laptop with me, show you like do this, do this, do this. Okay. Actually, people think like YouTube is just uploading videos. No. It's beyond just uploading videos. It's beyond, I'm telling you. It's beyond just uploading vi videos. There's a way you make your videos go viral, but I've never like paid to get views. You know, people like pay to get views and stuff. I don't need that. Just make good content and also learn some skills, then you can improve. You know now many Koreans have, have your subscription. You are a celebrity now, come on. North Korea. Yeah, Tony, one day I'll go to North Korea. Actually, I believe I'll, I'll call myself a real traveler once I step my foot in North Korea. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'll go one day. It's six. Uh, 2010. So this is my my Gmail account. Gmail. Uh, if you want to talk to me, you need some lessons. That's my Gmail. And also, if you want to donate anything, you can donate right there, you know, on my PayPal. Okay. What is the best video camera for YouTube? Hey, nowadays I use Osmo. You know Osmo? Let me show you. Yeah, my camera is very sketch. Um, this is my room. That's where I'm staying. Sorry, the light is bad. I don't know where that Osmo is, man. I'm looking for it. Oh, man. It should be in my jacket. Look, my camera is inside here. 
one of my pocket. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm showing you my camera, the camera that I use right now. And please, you can buy these cameras at a discount on, on uh, let me carry all them. All of them, I show you what I used to film. Okay, so I'm carrying my main cameras. I wanna show you the cameras I used to film, okay? So this is the camera I bought. I bought this camera when I had zero subscribers, this camera. Let me put it here. Let me show you. So, remember, you can always buy, purchase these cameras in any of my videos in the description at a lower price. If you purchase, there's a way. Like I'm promoting, I'm promoting you buying these cameras through Amazon. So Amazon gives me a discount of money, and also they give you a discount as the purchaser. Okay. No joke, I might join you in a few months for a collab, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie, man. I would love to see you, bro, you know. All we need to do is just be where... Who is Suzio Masaka? I don't know who that is. I don't know. Codigo Delta. I don't know what Codigo Delta is trying to say. Look, this, this was my main camera, okay? This is my main camera up to today. Zooms like crazy, like Puerto Rico videos were shot by this camera, you see? This camera, okay? It's Canon 70D, Canon 70D, right here. I bought this camera, Canon 70D, you see right there? So this is a microphone, this is a camera, and I always have my memory card, it's not here today. Yeah, but my memory cards are like 256 GB very big ones okay so this is my main camera okay if i'm doing street interviews with a girl i use this camera okay if i'm filming like i want to zoom i use this camera but nowadays nowadays then one of my subscriber sent me this camera i think everybody knows this camera it's a gopro okay so i use a gopro so like if you saw my videos in mexico i was swimming or sometimes those videos in Dominican Republic, I filmed them with this, okay? Then, when I went to, to the US this March, I bought this camera. This is the real G. This one is my main, right now, it's my main rifle. Let me use that word. Forgive me. Yeah, this is my main, main camera. It's called Osmo Pocket, right here. Osmo Pocket. It's around 300 and I think $60 in the US or 400 around there. Osmo Pocket. Those videos you've seen me film downtown Medellin, Colombia, you wonder, hey, how did this guy film this? How did he manage Osmo Pocket? Okay. And always remember, man, if you wanna purchase these cameras, go to any of my videos, okay? Anything you wanna purchase in Amazon, always go any of my videos, click a link, go to Amazon, get a discount, I get a discount. It's a way of uh, supporting me, and it's also a way of, uh, you know, helping, we are helping each other. My main other camera, okay, it's this, my cell phone. It's a Note 9, okay? So the Note 9, I use it to film when I feel like the environment is tense. Everybody's so serious. So sometimes when you use your phone like this, somebody can think, ah, he's just taking a photo, he's just taking a video but I'm making a, a huge YouTube video. So yeah, I think what camera are you using to talk to us? Right now I'm using my, my, my laptop. Let me see how I can, I can show you that. Let me show you how I can show you that, okay? So focus on your eye on this. This is my laptop, you see right there? So my camera is right here right here look look my camera is right here you see where my finger is going that's my laptop and i use a dell xpx xpx dell xpx you see that's the camera i use to do my live stream the good thing is i have lights there are lights around me so they they, they boost the camera okay but actually dell xpx is so good man it's so good it's very strong uh, you got an Instagram or Facebook? Man, come on, Tony, man. I'm so huge. Actually, 
My Instagram is 90,000 followers. Come on, Tony. Tony, man. Every day, every video I show you, I show you like, all I need is you, baby, baby, baby. Then I show, follow me on Instagram. Come on, Tony, man. You're letting me down. Yeah. Anything on Instagram, I do with my phone. You know, I don't, I don't want to complicate my life, you know. So let's finish this. Avista says, Mara, on your video, there's no link on DJ. Yeah, there is, there's no link about, I know, man. I'll put it, I'll put it. But look, if you want to purchase it, click in any of my link, then go purchase that, purchase this Osmo. As long as you use my link to purchase anything online, you'll, anything in Amazon, you'll get a discount. You understand? And also, if you guys don't have Airbnb application, if you download using my link, they will give you $37, $37 for free in your first stay. So, you know, I'm an influencer, okay? So we try to work with these big companies in, in those type of ways by referral. Legit job, legit. I don't like iPhones. You know why I don't like iPhones? They are very complicated to handle, you know? Sometimes, especially as a traveler, you go to a village, people have never seen an iPhone. And, but with Android, you say, hey man, I need a charger. And somebody pulls from the bag, hey, here's a charger. Your business is done. iPhone, even transferring information from a laptop to, or from a cell phone to a laptop. I don't like iPhone. Actually, everything I use is Windows. My laptop is Dell XPX 13. Very good, man. I think you've seen it. It's touch screen. Very, very good. So let me show you. So focus your eyes on the cell phone. That's how the laptop looks like. You see? Yeah. Very smooth, very small, very, look, look. It's, it's yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to show you how it's, it's a very, yeah, just search for it there, you know. Very skinny, very skinny. I mean, I mean, it's very, very small. You see how it is? Yeah. So I don't like Apple because it's complicated. And you know, you want simple things, but they give you good results. What are the best clubs in Medellin? Everywhere, man, there are good clubs here. You just come explore. There's, there's none I can say this is the best of the best. Yeah, just come party, yeah. Same here, bro. iPhone is too complicated and expensive. Like, for example, my laptop that I'm using, the money that I bought it, I couldn't buy an Apple machine which could, could you know, could even do what I do. This laptop films for, can, can handle 4K videos. But, okay, let's forget about that. I'm getting a lot of matches here in Tinder, so let's do Tinder, okay? Then we end this. Can I get some likes, man? Can I get some likes as we do Tinder? Whoa. Yeah. So we're doing Tinder, okay? Okay. So this is Tinder. We want to swipe. Tinder in Colombia, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. You should you should come to Colombia. You don't waste your time. Just come to Colombia. Oh, I can swipe by, you know, by tapping here. We have this. All you do is just like just like everybody. Then when when you match, you can now come to see details. Like, oh, was she okay? Was she beautiful? Oh, in okay, <laughs> so we are doing thin right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she wrote here Domingo or Sunday, and also you can see the ones I've matched with you know, by clicking here. Click here, I've matched here, so I need to talk to her, for example. See? That's a match. Okay. Oh. So, 
So I think guys, I'll be ending the video here. I think I've, I've talked for so long, man, two hours until I feel so tired. But let's swipe the Tinder before before we, we end this, okay? Okay. Here in Colombia. Mm-hmm. Here in Colombia. Tinder in Colombia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Colombia, man. Mm-hmm. 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 I knew you. It's the dog, bro. Man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that. Oh, actually, she has good pictures. Let's see her pictures. Her pictures. Pictures. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. Here is fire, fire. Fire, fire. Mm -hmm. Fire, fire, man. Yeah. F how how come he doesn't reply? No, I'm here, man. What do you mean? It's Colombia, not Colombia. Okay. Let's see more about her. Oh, she doesn't have more pictures. You know what I'm talking about, boy? Just come to Colombia, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. Medellin, Colombia, okay? Let's see more of her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is for the guys with zero game of con no man that's uh, dnj python no 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 What are you making? It was uh, the rest of the soap from today. Oh. It's rice. Yeah. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry. You Sorry. got a little bit from me because you didn't eat, yeah. eat anything. Thank you. Hey, are you still going? Uh, Marwa? Yeah, you know, uh, this place, I'm having a lot of fun, man, talking we're, to we're me. Trying to, we're watching you on, on, on 
on his iPhone. Oh, that's so crazy. <laughs> so how long we go for like an hour? Two hours now, but I think I'm I'm ending. Uh, like say hello to them. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. So guys, oh, Reverse TV Network says when he shows up and he has no money, you wearing the same clothes. Where is no way? Yeah. So you know my fans are many, man. So every day. So this guy is from the US, but he came to Colombia. He should tell you something, man. Tell people about Colombia, you know. Encourage them to come. Yeah, yeah. so uh, I would say definitely get your asses over here because, <laughs> uh, you know, experience a new, uh, I would say just cool culture. Yeah, yeah. definitely uh, wherever you're from. Where are, these, where are these viewers typically from? Actually, worldwide. Where is that? Oh, worldwide? Yeah. We got any like hey please comment where you're from so that my friend can advise you. Let's see where you guys are from. We should bring in uh you know we got a we got someone from France over here too. Yeah, hey, we got like an international community in this. Oh yeah, we have Philip Filipino, Chinese, Toronto, uh, India, in San Francisco, Bahamas. Oh my god. Oh we got Michigan in the house. Michigan, we have Taiwan, Taiwan, uh, Taiwan. New York. Oh, Trinidad. Yeah. Que bueno. Hey, you say what's up to the hey. say what to the lady. <laughs> hey. Yeah, give your give your testimonial hey. what how yeah. uh, Hey, she she wanna know where you're from. Please write, just comment where you're from, okay? Yeah, just where you're from. Korea, Florida. Damn, we're Korea in the house. Yeah. Hello, me, Amor. Hey, hey yeah. Kim J, what's up? Oh, somebody's, yeah, oh, Kim, man, watching me from, from Kenya. Yeah, bring the dollar over here. You guys will be able to. Yeah. Trinidad, uh, Nigeria. Gonna, you guys will be able to. Chicago. Chicago. You guys will be able to have a, you know, a comfortable say. time here with bringing the dollar yeah. over here. Somebody's watching us from. Sa Gerida. Satum. Uh -huh. Where is Satum? Yeah, yeah please so tell us where Billy, yeah. So, okay. Uh, now we're gonna lose viewers because the lady left. Uh, that's really how it goes, though, right? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. Somebody's watching us from Dubai. Man, you should advise people, man. You know, people. I say just come over here because with the dollar, you'll be able to like have yeah. a very comfortable time here. What you mm -hmm. buy for a dollar in the U.S., you can buy three times as much. Here. Yeah, man. So basically, you know, just. Uh, you know, Come here. Yeah. You know, I always tell people like if that bad rap about Colombia is all in the past. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Long Beach, California. Yeah. I'm from LA, so this round system dude is Yeah, it's it's everywhere. You all should right. make a YouTube channel. People are telling you you should make a YouTube channel. You hear? You should actually. It takes a lot of uh I don't know. I thought about this guy it, has been has has been living here for three years, man. Yeah. He knows all the tricks of no, Colombia. I don't. I don't. I'm trying. I yeah. I wish. Yeah. yeah. But I definitely say that if you want, like, to just change your world and, like, yeah. have a different, like, chapter of your life, I would say just get out of yeah. your home city and experience yeah. people, something people, in a different... People are paying crazy bills in the U.S. and they can live here like kings, you know? I work remotely. I actually uh, bring in dollars in euros, so yeah. I have a decent life here. And also, you guys can teach English like for Chinese kids from anywhere. Just all you need is internet and your laptop, and you make money. You know, exactly. there are like many ways you can make money nowadays and yeah. live anywhere you wanna live. All you need is your passport and keep moving. So get out the matrix. Yeah, like in the matrix. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but what, what's this? What's the theme of this chat room? It's so interesting. I mean, how no I people ask me random questions, but uh, before the video started, I did my first 10 minutes trying to tell the video things people should not do in Colombia or things strange things that like asking people, Hey, when's Pablo? Is this you no, know, those things they make Colombians very uncomfortable. So, I was trying to tell them things not to do in Colombia. Do you have any that you want to add? Yeah, uh. I've uh, I was here with no I don't want to say anything okay. any bad stories yeah but because you said like don't do anything like not what not to do just yeah. be street smart right yeah like 
you just got to be street smart because you're also a bank here to many of these guys, even if you don't have Money, loads yeah. of cash. So just be street smart. And uh, other than that, I'd say just come with a smile and you'll enjoy a good life. Yeah. Like Colombia is so cheap. Man, you remember we had like problems, but we still fixed it and we still we are here. Like yeah, also this. get out of your comfort zone. That's exactly yeah. what happened is that we got our comfort zone and, and it's fucking uncomfortable. Yeah. And yeah. you know, you gotta yeah. adjust. Adapt, I think we were, we were very like, doesn't kill you, makes yeah. you stronger than yeah, exactly. blah blah blah. But yeah, it's very true, man. Yeah. All right, man. I'll let you uh, do your okay. thing. Okay. All right. In the next five minutes, I'll be ending it. So, guys, in the next five minutes, I'll be ending the live stream. If you can donate anything, man, please donate. Let's finish swiping Tinder, okay? Tinder, Colombia. Medellin, Colombia. Oh, oh sorry. Mm -hmm. Colombia. Okay. So, we are, swip we are swiping Tinder. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Reverse TV asking me on my Instagram. Yeah. Come stars. Yeah. I don't know why they put cartoon pictures. We can skip this one for the first time. Okay. Fifty-fifty. Oh man. Let's do the information. Sorry, bro, what are you looking for? Let's just pull this thing slowly. Yeah, slowly, slowly. You have to be careful. Uh -huh. Let's see more information. Let's see if they have Instagram, okay? Oh, no Instagram. Reverse. 
<laughs> yes, man, pythons. I will, bro. Yeah. Afro girl. Let's see. Okay, guys. I think I'll end there. Let me show you my matches. Matches, okay? It's a match. The name of the app is called Tinder. Tinder. I really like this girl. She's an Afro. Let me show you. I really like her a lot. And she gave me the number right here. Let me show you. See here? Let me see. She's here. Mm, she's. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. Hey guys, I'll see you in my next one, man. I love you all. Thank you everybody for spending two hours with me watching Ayamara live streams from Medellin, Colombia. I miss you guys, man. Thank you for your support. Please uh, give the video a like. Let's get 150 likes, man, before I leave. Please, 150 likes. Hit that like button, man. Let me just wait for the likes. Just waiting. I'm not leaving till I see 150 likes. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, man. Yeah. 10 more, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Yeah. I also have my closing advice, so it's going to be good when I give you some closing advice. Don't leave the chat, just some closing advice. Let's hit six more, six more, six more likes. Let's do it, man. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. 80 people, man. Give me, give me those likes. It's so mean when you like and dislike. Too mean, you know. You can't even be blessed. Did you like Belize? Yeah, Belize was one of my favorite places to party. Six more, man. Let's do it. Six more. Oh, wow. Three more. Three more. Ah, oh, man. We, I love you guys. You know, I love you so much. Yeah. It went back to 47? Come on, man. Those guys were so mean. Low reverse. No, I think the guy who is reversing is so mean. That's just so mean, you know. Smash that like button. Thank you so much. If you're reversing, that's being so mean. Yeah. But 
let's surprise those guys who are reversing it by more likes even past yeah just playing bro thank you so much and uh, i love i love it i love you let's get two more likes man for the for the subscription thank you for donating five canadian dollars python bro i love you so much bro thank you what's up what's up sillies thank you so much dj thank you for the five dollar donations python man i really really appreciate man thank you for the likes you've just crossed one 150 likes i love you love you love you love you so much yeah, remember always when you travel to these countries, you have to always take care of yourself because you need to see tomorrow. Tomorrow is a bright day. You just have to keep an eye on everything. Even when you meet these beautiful girls in the streets, you have to be very careful. You have to use protection all the time, man, if you want to have anything with them. Yeah, I just want to be the guy who influences you to go and die. No, we still need tomorrow. Make peace with Manu. Yeah, man, I'll make peace with her. It's her birthday today. It's also Mother's Day here. I just wanted to give her her own time. Mara, you're the best YouTuber in the world. Man, thank you so much, Jesse. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate it. Mara, head up of Cartagena. If you haven't, I'm going there to Cartagena. The next two weeks, I'll be in Cartagena, man. Taking it like never before. Cartagena real streets. What to do in Cartagena. Cost of living in Cartagena. Plaja Blanca in Cartagena. More, more, more live streams to come from Cartagena too man just know too many things all we need is life and everything else will be good i love you guys i've done actually my longest live stream ever two hours 36 minutes i've never done this before in the philippines the protection is is out of the door okay love you guys man thank you so much thank you for all your donations man i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one ciao ciao it's actually very late. It's 10 here, man. Bye. I want to read the last comment before I leave. I want to feel skin. Peace, Mara. That will be the last comment. And peace to everybody. I'll see you in my next one. Share my videos and follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I am underscore Mara. And see what I do. There are some crazy photo shoots and crazy streets. You know. And bye-bye, man. I love you all. I'll see you in my next one. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.